Yeah. 
Everybody. Welcome to the all-important Defend the North smashed out for the, the league. Whoever wins today, between me, Baby Bird, uh, Smokey Blunts, and Kuba Kev, gets a free hotel room for Defend the North and free venue. So good luck to me. I hope everyone else loses. And coming up on stream, we have who JLo and Kyle. Yoshi versus somebody. I think Kyle's the guy who's sitting next to me while playing friendlies. I'm pretty sure he's a Falco player. This is a very fun matchup for Falcons who know the matchup, but odds are I, I, I'm not sure if Kyle knows it too well. For his sake, I hope he does. If there are people in the chat, I'm bringing it up. So one second. Oh no. Uh, Encore Esports USA. Two viewers. Let's go. Let's go. And I have it open for those who are here who want to talk to an interesting person. God. Nice. They're going to Battlefield Game 1. I, I missed what character he was playing, but. I mean, it's a fair stage for most people. Most people like it. Uh, so it was Yoshi Falco. Uh, JLo's definitely the person expected to win, but Falco can if Falco can do it if he's patient enough. Even if you don't know the matchup. Hmm. They're kind of just throwing weak hits back and forth for now. I wonder if Kyle is aware of the double jump armor and stuff like that. Uh, it hasn't really happened yet, so. Because he went for an up air after a shine, which is pretty risky at mid percents, because I'm not sure if it was an actually true combo. Mm. Oh! <laughs> I think he thought he was going to land the platform, so he threw a, an egg up there, but he just didn't. Jayla with the parry. Oh, shine bear. That was pretty fast. Didn't kill, though. Yeah, it seems like he doesn't really know too much about the armor. Because he went for a shine, which always breaks it. But uh, he went for a dare after assuming he would be popped up. But he wasn't popped up. And nothing happened because of it. Jayla going for some cheese with the, the gulp. That was unfortunate. Missed shield drop into death. Jail going for more parries. But they're not really working out too, too well. Um, oh boy, that could have been a lot more dangerous, but Kyle didn't capitalize. That wave land was crisp, but... Yeah. 
That was some pressure by the Falco player. But it's kind of, I don't know. Hey, broke it that time. Didn't really go for anything after. Going for the shine at such high percent isn't really necessary, though. He can, he can just break good that move. Because the shine is really good at low percent for, like, shine spike weird shenanigans like that, but... I would love to see an up tilt, but it's whatever. He's getting this combo going. Side B choice on both platforms. Some kooky stuff. That was a nice just conversion back air down smash. Once he got hit by the back air, he had the SCI to hella hard to get out, but unfortunately he didn't. Oh no, down tilt. <laughs> that sucks, but I don't know. He got grabbed in the corner. You gotta expect whatever. You gotta expect everything once you get back thrown. Yeah, again, another shield drop after the shine. Shine wave landing against shields in general. A little spooky, but uh, Jayla keep what the fuck? He just like died at like 20. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but your yeah, shine waveland loses the f shield drop in between the shine and waveland, so. I get another nice combo started, but it wasn't, it wasn't like a frame tight, so he got super armored into probable kill here. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, shield poked. He went for the edge cancel. Jayla keeps going for the, the like neutral B egg thing. It's just not working though. Oh, that's oh, that sucks. I think the egg was a little. I don't know. He probably could have done something else. Maybe, maybe grab ledge or something. Because eggs are so slow. Those double lasers weren't too great because he was too close. I don't think they heard you, but let's play.
Hello. Hello. I'm back. Oh, Puff Falcon on FD game one. Why doesn't this Puff just camp the ledge? You should have went today. Yo, Merc, what are you doing here? <laughs> Get out of here, Merc. You don't play this game. <laughs> what? what does sit mean? We're tied. Whatever. Uh, fun matchup to watch as long as, you know, the Falcon wins. Which is happening. I'm surprised they went FD game one because, I don't know. It feels like giving Falcon so much room is super scary. Oh, what a rest. That was sick. That was actually super sick. Oh, oh, that. I don't know if he meant to turn around up tilt or not, but that was almost a clutch stock. Uh, doing a lot of falling up airs. Oh, that should be dead. Wow. This is the eye. He has to come down with the. Oh, <laughs> oh no. He's still not dead, holy moly. Merc, that's not fair, you can't say that. They're just different characters. Puff and Falcon are looking for different things. I mean, King Cuss almost brought it back, but he didn't. He like almost got like a, a nice last stock rest, but unfortunately the up tilt didn't hit. So Paul's moving on the platforms has been like pretty crisp, but I kind of want to see Concussed force him to stop doing that with like up airs that hit the platforms and you know just covering the space like the short hop or full hop space with back airs. There are a heck of tags in the chat right now. Thanks for coming through. I appreciate it. Is everyone excited to watch me win a free hotel? What a what a buff! Whoa. That is the Babu Guard. That's the tag I use. It's a great one. Hey, right, well. This counter pick isn't really looking too too hot for concussed. Uh, I don't know. I guess the platforms benefit Apollo way more than the space is benefiting concussed because the last stage was pretty big too. Uh, and, and again, I don't know. I feel like giving Falcon so much space to do whatever he wants, and like you're not really contesting it too much, is just a big recipe for disaster. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say sucks for Puff, but giving Puff so much space, I mean, giving Falcon so much space is rough. I don't know, maybe go like FOD or Battlefield, somewhere where you can contest his movement a little better. <laughs> that was a little bit lucky. Merch. I mean... So, that's true. However, the like the edge camping is, is true. That is pretty good against Falcon in general. However, none of these players are either top plat camping or ledge camping, so that doesn't apply. 
I mean, if they both start, if Concuss starts ledge camping very well to the point where Apollo, even when he tries to contest it, can't, like, doesn't hit it. But any against against Falco as Fox, do whatever you want. But, but like for real advice, depending on the uh, depending on the Falco, with punishing is really broken because you can stay within a range where he can't really throw out a short hop aerial. But you can like if he throws out a short hop aerial, you can like with punish with grab or up smash, and then if they're like really laser heavy. Getting good at uh, dashing in and out of lasers. Like, after getting hit by a laser, dashing in and out is really important. And also, full hop and air over lasers is broken if they're super campy. But then you gotta watch out for crouch cancel and. I don't know. Smoky Blunts versus J Lo? Oh boy. I'm a big J Lo fan, but this matchup might be impossible. It is the J-Lo? He played round... Wait. Oh, no. I just can't read. He played against um, a Falco set one? Round one? Uh, his name was... I don't know. His tag was Kyle. Or it wasn't... It was Kyle on the stream setup. In the bracket, it's Tile Torin. And now I got Chess joining me. Hello. Oh, my fucking God. It's Chess Money, bro. How you doing? Nice to see ya. Babu Bird? Yeah. Let's go. So Jayla's gonna win, and it's gonna make your uh, your life much easier. I would really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. But I don't know if I. Agree. Uh, first of all, I love the Harry Potter classes. Thank you. They're cute. You're Thank a cute you. guy. Thank you. I appreciate. Let's go, that. J Lo. J Lo's a homie, dude. I like J Lo. I J -Lo fucking a lot. love J Lo. You know who I also like? Who? Uh, I don't want to say it on camera. It's Smokey. <laughs> I do. I hate. <laughs> I hate. I hate to say it, but I do like him. For the longest time, I only knew him. In from his Facebook persona. I know it's the worst. But meeting it's him in person worse was a than lot my different. Facebook persona. <laughs> it was really mine's bad. pretty bad, you know? Yeah. I don't mine's know. like a 4 out of 10. This was like <laughs> even lower than that somehow. But here he goes. Everything he said in Long Island Melee was the worst. No, he was a mean guy. <laughs> he was mean. No, he's been mean to me. Before I was a bad person on Facebook, he was mean to me. He's one of the reasons I said I should just start being mean. Let's go. First of all, that oh, was that was almost sick, didn't but go. it wasn't. Okay. Well, no, no, no. It was sick. Yeah, it would have been sick if it killed. Would have been sicker. Yeah, okay, sure. Okay, okay. I'll take Come on. that. Come on. Let's, <laughs> let's uh, you know, it was sick. It was sick. Okay, he's alive. Air dodge. Okay, well. Nah, air dodge is, you know, he was alive. I mean, he, he has to do alive. it. Yeah. yeah. He was for a second. Definitely uh, was. You know, no big deal. You know. When in doubt, air dodge it out. That's uh, that's what my mother told me, and I live by it, you know. Uh, he's doing the platform things. Uh, you know, I don't think you should ever let a Yoshi go to Battlefield Game 1. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter in my opinion because Fox and Falco in your opinion. Fox and Falco destroyed Yoshi so hard oh. on every stage to the point where okay. it's kind of just reference. Disagree. You disagree. I think I think Yoshi's and Battlefield. You don't want them to go. I mean, any stage with less platforms is better. That's what I say. That's what I say. But like, you're would not you gonna go to one of my. Like well, you're not, okay. You're not striking FD. I feel like you'd prefer Dreamland to this, no? Um, if you're real, real campy, MS. Well, if you're campy, sure. But even if you are campy, Yoshi's is still hella broken. Because you you can just... Fox just controls so much space. In very Yoshi's? easily. Yeah. Yoshi's story? Yeah. Fox controls so much space. Oh my goodness, I disagree with you so hard. But Really? You, If you were Fox, you'd want to go to Yoshi's story against Yoshi. I mean... It has Yoshi in the damn name, baby. That is true, but... I don't know, man. I look at Omsa, I see what he counterpicks. He counterpicks Yoshi's every time. And that's that's true, but I've never seen a Yoshi that can play like Omsa before. Well, okay, fair so enough. So it's hard to... But even Whiskers, right? Uh, I mean, I'd go Yoshi. I don't I don't bring Whiskers to the triplets unless it's Dreamland and I'm Peach. Uh, I mean... I don't do it. I don't do it. I think for Falco, it's fine. I got, I got an undefeated record against Yoshi. Me too. Oh, good. Good for Me you. Too. Good for you. And, and good for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. Anyway, uh, as we're saying that, J-Lo's uh, getting kind of fucked up. Yeah, I mean, it's hard, it's hard to play good. against Lane and, Fox. And, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, well, again, I think, uh, I mean, in this case, it's like hard. Like, Dreamland would even be kind of worse. Well, yeah, probably, but, you know. Again, it's just. So where is he going to go? He gets what? You get one band in melee? I, I have, yeah, I have no idea where he's going. Say so you ban what? You ban, uh, you ban, you ban, I don't know. You have I to go Yoshi's. Yoshi's if, if, uh, 
Gather Band found Naryoshi's if you're Smokey, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, that's the, what I'm saying. So yeah, there's Fountain, there's Yoshi's, there's FD, there's Battlefield, and there's Dreamland. Mm -hmm. So you don't, if you're Yoshi, you don't want to go FD. Yeah. You probably don't want to go. You don't want to go. You would probably want to go Dreamland, right? For Yoshi? Yeah. I mean. Where would I, you want to go? You would want to go Dreamland, Fountain, and. Battlefield? It depends how much you abuse the top platform and against which character. Because if you're if you're top platform camping with Yoshi against Fox, it's gonna work kinda well because he has the to Battlefield double jump. or not the Battlefield? Well Battlefield will also work kinda well because he has to double jump. Line? Both. Okay. Because he'll have to double oh, jump okay, to get sure, to you. Sure. But Jail is not really top plat camping, so the height of the top platform doesn't really matter. Right, right. He's playing a lot in the side platforms, so. I don't know, I think they could have gone a different stage. Yeah, the I mean game. it's possible, but for Yoshi, it's kind of just which place sucks the least. Yeah, yeah. But I guess, I mean, if you're fighting, fighting Spokey, I mean, Dreamland's not going to be better yeah. than, than Battlefield. You yeah. Know? He, he'll fucking lame me out. He's, 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 a, he's a fan of whiff punishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've, I've fought him with Peach, and it, it feels... Uh, <laughs> Peach and Yoshi have similar uh, matchup spreads, and the fact that, like, when they get camped, they get fucking Yeah, camped, it's really hard. You know what I mean? You're like, all right. It's so, really hard. Yeah, I missed the, 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 the lead shush there in the, uh, in the collab. Is what it is. Shout out to Big Buffalo, the sun. There's hello people watching oh, right yeah? now. Damn. Or at least a lot of people chatting compared to usual. Well, I mean, uh, this is a big night. Yeah, so, it is. I mean, it's you, Smokey. Who are the other two people? Uh, it's Kubikev, and we're all tied for first. Okay. Is there a person in third that's close? Uh, Kubikev is, well, after the three of us, I think uh, Toucan, but he's not here. Oh, he's not here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Smokey tried to do something silly. He tried to do a wave land off up air, but I just doesn't oh, work. Oh, that was actually amazing. I love that. Good shit on Smokey. I mean, it kind of sucks for Yoshi because you have to jump. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. It was, it was smart. It was smart. Yeah, it was. JPO versus Fishit. Now that's a uh, that's an interesting matchup. I think uh, I think Fishit has it pretty easily. You think so? I don't know. I've never seen the two of them. Actually, no. Last time. Listen, uh, last time JPO kind of messed them up. Really? Yeah. I just have to say, I. I uh, JPO challenged me to like a $50 money match, and I uh, did not lose that one. Unfortunate. So faith, faith in the Daisy Maids. Yeah, but I'm, I'm pretty sure Fish it. At least last time he went Donkey Kong. Okay, you should not go Donkey Kong. So I don't know if he's going to go Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong's bad. Yeah, I agree. He should I, play Peach. His Peach is good. <laughs> I mean, when Fisher plays Donkey Kong, he does fairly well. He just beat Tusane with DK. No, I, I did hear that. Well, actually, that matchup's better than Peach Puff. I would. I mean, I don't disagree. Yeah, no, so. no, which is which is wild that you're yeah. like you're like you were trying for a second. You're like, oh, all right, I don't disagree. Yeah, I mean, Puff yeah. struggles with a lot of mid tiers. Yeah, so. no, no, DK uh, cargo throw up air kills Puff at like 80. Yeah, it's actually wild. And the back air, DK's back air is more disjointed than Puff's back air. I don't think that's true. No, it is true. Is it? It is true. It actually is true. You can look it up. If they both back, air, it's not faster. Yeah, yeah. It's not fa like like Puff could spam it faster. If they both back air at the same time. Puff is going to win because it just comes out faster. Mm -hmm. But, but they're spacing yeah. at like the exact lens where Puffs won't hit, but DKs will hit. DKs will be. But it's much slower. And it's also weaker, so yes, you can crash right, cancel right, and stuff. Right, 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 right. It's not a better move, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but it can space it out. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, so he's going but that is peach. good. I, I think he should go Peach. Uh, these mean, matchups, it's interesting. Ooh. I mean, Down Smash is so good. Um, it is very broken. Back air, sh uh, that was a, uh, ooh, okay. And Fish just does down smash a lot. Like, he he go he foregoes, like, grab punishes for down smash yeah. pretty often. Yeah. I mean, down smash feels meaty. It really does. I mean, it, it is super it strong. Is, it is. But, I mean, he gets punished for it. Like, like that edge guard yeah. situation he set up was, was low-key free. I won't say it was free, but it was low-key free. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He had him off stage, and then he, like, let him back on stage, and he got fucking punished. So. Which is going to happen. And now he took 35. I mean, he's taking some chip damage. And JPO like, is what also. What the fuck was that there? He should have nared. You know yeah. I mean? JPO is also another lame Fox player. Yo, he's, Every space here is he's, hella he's lame, lame so. as shit. No, no, no. <laughs> that, that's, that's fucking. That's. that's Excuse me. That's freaking Fox and Taco. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is. It is. It is. People complain that they play lame, but there's a reason why every character loses. Oh, you have them. to, you have to. Yeah. You have to. I mean, they're so amazing in their characters. The top, the top five are so good, but yeah, you really have to play lame. I mean, yeah. my Peach is at 102 because like, it's so much took laser damage. Yeah, like, I know. I, I can't, I can't think of one strong hit that happened in my stock change. You know. 
I mean, it, with two strong damage attacks, he got 17%. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't even like there was a combo string that could have possibly... Yeah, been, I know, because you know? crouch canceled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, he said, a cancel, <laughs> the <laughs> classic jab up yeah, smash. Yeah. But he could have CC'd uh, the crouch. CC crouch is, like, uh, amazing against Fox. Yeah, it is. Uh, on the jab for a very long percentage. Nice. Up throw, gonna go, oh, I thought he'd go to top platform. I'm a huge fan of the double jump lands. Yes. That, no one does yes. it. No, 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 yes, it's strong, it's strong. I do it. <laughs> but I suck at this game. <laughs> so, uh, Fish it, probably the best days in the world. It used to be me, I'll give it to him now. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. You, okay. you, you two might have Not been the great. only two Not Daisy great. players in the world. Yeah, I, so. think, I think we were. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll give it to us. Fish is an amazing. Uh, oh, wow. See, you know what I'm surprised with Fish is he plays DK, and he plays yeah. such a big character that has such a great crowd cancel. He doesn't abuse CC as much as you think he would. I agree. You know? Like, there's been, been some nares that have happened where he could have definitely, definitely done a CC down smash. Mm -hmm. A fat CC down smash, and it hasn't happened. Yeah. So, I agree. I, I, Ooh, oh, dead. wow. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks, but that was a percent. I wonder if he was trying to shield drop. A percent earlier would have worked. No, he wasn't. It's fishing. Yeah, it's true. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, that, I love Fish. I watched him the other day. He did some shit that I've never seen before with Peach, and yeah. I incorporated my friendlies. I don't play this game competitively anymore. But, uh, oh, first of all, worse. <laughs> yeah, he just, angle he just missed, like. unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, Fox, it happens, right? There's yeah. so many angles, you know, you get it. But when you, when you play at this level, you, you gotta have your controller mod now, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm anti controller mods. Really? Yeah. So am I. It's not a, not a popular stance, though, these days. I know, I agree. Yeah. No, I, I am too. I, I've never played with a controller mod in my life. I've always played the OG way. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a fan of. Notches and whatnot. Okay, that was. But anyway, very, regardless. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really agree with the going out there for shine spikes. Oh, oh my lord. Go on, GPO. I mean, so you lose on Dreamland. I mean, you might want to go FOD versus You're GPO. not feeling good. You're not feeling good. If you lose on Dreamland, you're not feeling good. Well, I don't know. It's like, it's good for Peach, obviously, because she lives, but again, Fox can just run away and do whatever so he you wants. Say FOD or FD? I would say, I mean, I'm surprised he didn't ban FD, but. I don't know. Um, Especially because of... No, no, Fish it sucks on this. I watched him play on the stage. He fucking sucks on it. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I'll say that nicely. He freaking sucks on yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, he um, could have also tried DK, but I don't know. Because DK no, and no, his, his chain good. grips, I watched the other day, and I would see who dash attack, and who dash attack again after. Yeah. And Instead like, of regrab or whatever? Re yeah. You're like, you're an FD. Like, <laughs> use it. You know what I mean? Just use it. I mean, a lot of Peach players do struggle with the chain They grab. do. I don't understand. I don't get it either. I was so good at it. That was my <laughs> thing. That was like... I thought, I thought like, parallel to Armada... And I don't mean this as a flex on chess. Yeah. But I'm going to say it. I thought I was the second best Peach at it. I, the, the amount of times aloft on the stage was less than I could count on two hands. Really? Yeah. That's good. To the spaces. To the spaces. Yeah. I mean... I mean Sheik, Sheik, I'll give it to him. Marth. You know, Sheik and Marth, they can have it. You know, yeah. but spaces... It was like five or six. Because <laughs> I just, one day I just grinded out, like, just do it. Yeah, you, know? you can just grind it. But they don't do it. Like, what is he doing right now? He's, he's not, you gotta fish for the grip. Play, pretend you're ice climbers, bro. Yeah, you just wait dash back grab. I know, it's so until good. It works. They're dead. Yeah, They're spam dead. shield grab. That's it. Get your one edge guard. You have to have one edge guard read. Yeah. You know, that's it. All right, so let's see what he does here. Center stage, okay. Those stir up. Never, never was gonna hit, but he tried. Well, it might have been just to get rid of it. Because, I mean, at this level, percent turn up. Wow. I wonder why you okay. grabbed, but it works. So. Could have done the up. Uh, yeah. The SDI. No. You gotta know, uh, up throw up air doesn't work on Peach. Actually, yeah. Percent grab. Okay, up throw. Oh, see? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I know. That was the stock. That was an even game. And now he's just gonna take a trillion percent up and maybe throw? die. Okay, let's see. Let's see what he does here. He did one, uh, one sneaky extra pummel there, for no reason. Right, well, you, he has to nair here. Mm -hmm. okay. A lot of people just don't. Now let's try see if he has to read out. here. Okay, doesn't get it. It was just a little too slow, I think. Yeah, it was. It was too slow. But I appreciate 146. You know, we take it up there, up air, up air. Up I, uh, oh sure, yeah, up there, up air would work. You're right. Nice. Oh, that was not good. Man. Yeah, it's dead. Uh, if there's anything I could critique, Peach Fox FD. Any any matchup I could critique, F throw, dead. Yeah, dead. yeah. 
167 right there. That's going to kill. Z drop. Q drop. Sorry. That's uh, the Ryobi term. <laughs> the Q drop. <laughs> he loves that shit. It's good. It's good. I can never learn it. That was one thing I, uh, I phased out after that happened. Okay. Yeah, this is... Yeah, it's yeah, dead. It's dead. Good run. Good on JPL. Yeah. I think I'm up now. Good luck, man. Thank you. Very much appreciate it. Oh, I'm not, not up yet? All right, never mind. Oh, nope. we're we still here. We're is still Kevin here? Scrub first? Hey. Kevin Scrub, who's that? What? Kevin Scrub? Uh, oh, Koopa, Koopa Kevin, Kevin Scrub, Scrub, yeah. Koopa Kevin. Oh, that's a, that's actually a great match. Yeah, last time Scrub played uh, uh, Smokey and did really well against him. So. No, I think Scrub will win this. You think so? Yeah, yeah. I would, I would bet some, if anyone wants to bet with me, I'll bet. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, but Scrub's good. I know that. I'm not saying something. I think he's good. Oh, Barry, Barry's, Barry, you want to throw some money on it? Fiverr? <laughs> All right, me and Barry are shaking. I got Scrub. No, I love Kev. Kev was my static teammate for three weeks. Three weeks? Wow. We won every tournament winter for three weeks. Huh, that's undefeated. pretty good. Me and Kev undefeated. That's pretty good. But, you know, <laughs> he left me. He left me for another lover. Who? I don't know. You know what? <laughs> Same thing as my girlfriend. Oh no. Well, ex girlfriend now. Hey oh, yo! No. Zinger, hardly knew her. Well, I did know her for four years. Anyway, unfortunately, let's go. Unfortunately, there is no yeah. teams here. Yeah, I know, it is unfortunate. Oh, we would make a great team. That would, I I'll would. do it sometime. Fun teams. I love teams. It's I'm so really much good fun. at teams. So much fun. I just That's my shit. I'm glad I didn't enter tonight. I'm chilling, dude. <laughs> I hate this. I don't hate this game. It's very stressful to be I a used to hate this game. In the streets. You know? Yeah. Falco, Falco, you feel tonight? Falco's rough. He's you don't want to, you don't want to fight. So Falco, like, Falco, it's like on you. Yeah. You know? yeah. Peach, it's like, you have a falcon and a you puff. Just lose. And you, just, you just lose. <laughs> you know? Like, you can beat everyone else, but Falcon Puff, you're like, fuck. Yeah, it's a rough life for Peach. Yeah, no, it's not good. And, uh, you know, I, I quit because of that. So they're, they're warming up. I don't know if you've heard the news, but people are starting to say Pikachu's better. I have heard that's not true. I agree. It's not true. I, I also don't think it's true. Uh, actually, I think Yoshi's better than both of them. But oh, that's I a. I won't get into that take. <laughs> Please don't. I won't. But I think uh, so. I think well, okay. I think Ices is worse than all of the four. Of them. Uh, I mean, I think Ices are trash, but they'll always be relevant. So yeah, wobbling assist. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Samus is pretty good. So I think they're all in the same tier. Believe it or not. Yeah. I think Falcon and Sheik are in a tier above that. I agree. And then I think you have Fox, Marth, Marth Puff. Falco? Maybe? Uh, I'm a firm believer that Falco is better than Puff. Oh, I, I disagree strongly. But I can, I don't know. I don't, I don't think there's a single argument you can make for Puff being better. Has a worse matchup spread. Who does Puff lose to? Fal Fox? Fox, Falco. Puff does not lose to Falco. Yeah, she crazy. does. They're crazy. She loses neutral and has a fairly no. equal punish game. No. I'll disagree there. But but I can see your point. I'll concede us here, but Hostel Gato thinks the same thing. I mean And I said the same shit to him. All the Falcos who play with Puffs regularly think Falco wins. Yeah. It's just that every Falco sucks at the matchup, so they think Falco loses. So well, I, I mean, know at all the top people's level, Hunger Box is just better than all the puffs. Yeah, I mean. Better than all the tacos. Yeah, me. yeah. Okay, first of all, great shot. Good, good job, Cooper Cap. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm going to lose money to Barry. Fuck. Let's go, Scrub. I forgot I even bet on this shit. Come on, Scrub. Fuck him up. Oh, sc screw him up. Let's go, Scrub. I was expecting another sick. shine. I'm not oh, a fan geez. of the, the double I jump. Up I can't there. afford to lose. I don't <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend left me. I gotta pay for my rent myself. Let's go, Scrub! <laughs> Need these extra five dollars. Oh no! No! Don't lose! Alright, alright, easy there. Free. Multi shines on platforms are so hard. They are hard. They're but so hard. Scrub, scrub will do them. When in doubt, scrub it out, you know what I mean? Because I don't, so I hope you do. So we're on the same terms. <laughs> All right, Scrub's gonna get zero death here. Uh, laser, shine. Okay, boom, boom. Oh, dare, lay. Oh, oh, yeah. dead. Oh, why didn't he dare? Come on, that was uh, a free dare. It was a free dare. It was a free dare. 
Let's be honest. I can understand dare. why he no, dared. No, it was a free dare. But he should have Was that dared. a free dare or no? Yeah, it was. It was dead. I play Peach, and that was a dare. <laughs> Come on. If I could call it, let's be honest. I don't know. I do Nair a lot there, too. But why? In that position, it didn't make sense because he was too far. Yeah, he was too far, bro. He was too far. I would have dared there, and I would have killed him. All right. All right, all right. Oh, my God. I was going to say good back there, but he just no. fast fell it. Yeah, I mean, he could have grabbed ledge. There's a lot of things he could have done, but he did a back air, which okay. was, like, the dan he's most dangerous option he could have yeah, chose. Uh, if he doesn't get this combo right now, I, I don't believe anymore, and I'm going to have to get Barry some money. I don't know. There's always a chance. You always get there's some always back, a chance. back throw F tilts going in. That's not Fox. It's not back throw shy. Back throw F tilt is still broken. I've won many a set off of it. That was a cool fair. Oh, why and then did down did smash there. Yeah, a lot of Falcos don't really do the down smash there for some reason. You have to. Yeah, people like making it more complicated than it has to be, unfortunately. You play it simple, dude. Oh, oh, that was a sick shorten, actually. He reacted to the side of the shorten. Ooh, okay. That was actually yeah, a good wall. Alive. Dare from the skies. Oh, that was terrible. He's dead. That was a little, That was back questionable. Grim back in. What are you doing? Come on, Scrub. Fuck him up. I want oh. Scrub to win now because oh. that was the worst punish I've ever seen in my life. That, that was, was an amazing so shine. Sick. No, he's let's go. Oh. That was sick. I'm not. Dude. That was actually super sick. That was sick. sick. That, that was freaking sick. The fall through. Barry's gonna be five bucks. Let's go. <laughs> let's go, bro. Let's go, Scrub. Let's go, Scrub. Oh, he's smiling. Ah. Look at those pearly whites, bro. They're so pearly. That was actually Koopa so Kev, smart. my OG teammate. Sorry, Kev. Love you lots. <laughs> Not OG. Uh, it was, uh, well, once money's on the line, friendship goes string. out the window. Yeah, sorry, bro. <laughs> he was like a four-string teammate, but he was a great teammate. <laughs> At the time, it lasted. It was great. Yeah. The two tournaments. Most undefeated teammate, but we didn't beat any top 100 players, so I won't give it to him. <laughs> Main JD, like, beat like 12 or something oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean... We you guys are really teammate. good teams. Yeah, we were a good teammate. But you know, he left me for another lever. Anyway, let's go. Let's go, Scrub. I'm surprised they went. I'm surprised he went back. I think that's questionable. Still tight, bro. Uh, I, I what think, do you think. What's the better stage for Fox? I don't know. I don't well, know. Well, for much of it all. Kev, yeah. In particular. Well, FD for sure, but you ban that. I don't think. Falco. I don't even think FD's bad for Falco. Okay, I ban FD if I'm Falco. I mean, that's fair. I think that's fair. It's but, a grab, right? Yeah, but. The crab's scarier than the two-frame shine, I think. But Falco's shine leads to an actually free punish instead yeah, of so a... So oh, yeah, grab is also free. Grab's so free. It's just if you feel like you have better neutral, you can win there. Okay. But, I don't know. Kev could have went Yoshi's, maybe. But I don't know if you... Dreamland? Even, Dreamland also could have been fine. It's really just since he's, like, he likes the whiff punish a lot, Dreamland might be better. I agree and it'll give that. him more space. But, uh, I don't know. But he's getting, uh, he's getting uh, poopy, 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 doopy. You know, he is fun. getting a little poopied on. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. Scrub, look at Scrub's face. I mean, he looks serious. He's he's here to he's here to play. I I, I haven't seen a face like that from Scrub in a minute. I also haven't seen Scrub in a minute. So yeah, <laughs> he comes like pretty rarely actually. He does. He does. He, he's a great player though. Uh, I will have to toot my own horn. Seven zero against the guy, but you know. <laughs> I think I I think he's actually one zero over me. But really? that was, yeah, that was a long time ago. Oh, yes. Yes. I know uh, the spaces are in your strongest suit. You like the floaties. Yeah, I hate spaces a lot. However, I've gotten a lot better at the match. That's good. That's good. Glad to hear. Yeah. It's pretty important, actually. <laughs> yeah, I mean, every oh, play literally spaces this, this game right now. You got a down smash, you would have killed. Yes. Yeah, I do agree. Okay. That was a good chase. It was a good chase. Oh, bad, bad there. Very last end of it. You could have got the kill. Oh. Uh. Okay, let's see what happens here. I think he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. 35, I mean, that's an almost instrumental, uh, instrumental odds. He's right here, he has to get some uh, some cheese. Maybe a quick shine game or whatever. Because, uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem like Kubik has really that big of a, like, a zero to deather. Uh, yeah, no, he, I've never got zero to death by him. He doesn't do it. Yeah, he, I don't know. He, like, just he wins does. neutral he does. often. His punish game's uh, subpar. Yeah. It's good, but it's like. It could be better. It could be better. Yeah, yeah. And that, you oh, know, that's huh? that's well. First of all, that's that's a shame. You know, to be honest, uh, neutral punish game I think is something you can improve. 
Yeah, I mean it's like easily, it's much you know? easier to improve punish game than neutral. Just slap it out, you know. So I always feel like, why doesn't he improve that? You because know? it's but, really but right here. I mean, his punish game is great. Yeah, seventy six. So I mean, okay. he's doing enough to get, knock people off stage. Which right, right. It's either you can get zero to deaths or knock people off stage early. Right, right. And then get the, the end of the edge guard. Does it die? Damn. Oh, does die. Wow. We're gonna go to a that game was a nice three. comeback. <laughs> Barry doing the solo clap. Uh, I think Scrub was uh, the favorite there, but. We will see. Scrub's we'll uh, probably going to go Yoshi's. If he so? doesn't get. Yeah, because he seems. I don't know, he just seems a lot more comfortable with less space. Well, where was the other stage he would get? Uh, I don't know. Cause a lot of spaces don't like FOD, but I think it's great for Falco. Oh, Koopa Kev, shout out to Monster, drinking Monster. <laughs> the gamer fuel. It is the gamer fuel, indeed. Shout out to 120 people that like my uh, picture on Facebook. Nice. Your homies. Oh, the uh, the weight loss one? Yeah. Yeah, hey, good job. 10 pounds, bro. That's good. It's all because of depression. Let's go! That's crap. He's going to win. Oh, he's not going to win. I'm surprised he went here. I'm really yeah, surprised he like went here. Yeah, I don't like the stage. Uh, I don't think Falco wins here. I, I mean, it's a fox scatter pick, in my opinion. I, Again, it's, it's really just uh, play style dependent, but... Most of the time, Fox would like Yoshi's more, but I think Koopa, the way Koopa Kid plays... Fox would like Yoshi's more? Yeah. You think so? Yeah, because again, Fox controls space oh, so well with his full hop. I see the Falcos love this love this stage. This stage? The, or uh, uh, Yoshi's? The Falcos love Yoshi's. Yeah. I don't know. It seems like a lot... I guess it depends on preference, you know? Yeah. I mean, 130 kills to a dish tag up smash. Kind of a busted combo if you ask me. It's a shame Falco doesn't have it, but... Yeah. He should have it. It's still... His up smash is, still has uses. Oh, no, 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 no. But he doesn't have... He oh. doesn't have... Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, jeez. He could have... That was almost a free back here right there. Yeah. I mean, the going, going off there for the... Oh, it was a little slow there. Why did oh you just smash it? Oh, my God. Slow twice. Jeez. This, uh, this set's nice. almost over. Okay. I mean... <laughs> you do it. Watch. Ready? Down air combo right here. And he's good. Barry's trying to stake my five dollars. <laughs> they're on the. They're oh, on the that speed. was a nice read. Wait, Barry, hold on. What's this? Nice. What's? Oh, okay. First of all, the worst dash. Uh, worst. Yeah, the S smash was a little. One. Yeah, it was bad. I would have. But, but he got it going. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh no! My. What was that? That was terrible. That was so bad. You know, that was honestly the worst F smash I've seen, followed by the Christmas ledge dash. Yeah, I know. You know, like, you gotta choose one or the other, you know? It was such a free F smash. Just roll. Thank God. All right, good. All right, all right, all right. Back Let's in the see lead. if we we'll $5. I might be getting some pizza, boys. Woo-wee! <laughs> oh, let's see, let's see. Yeah. Up smash. Gonna kill? Yeah, could have had a better DI. Yeah, he didn't really DI. It. I think he could have lived. But DIing up smash. Hard. It's like. It's kind of scary because it's a you can mix it up with something else, but I don't know. Well, I mean, at that percent, you just DI. Yeah, right? <laughs> you're just gonna die no matter what, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There might have been See? a there might have been an SDI angle where he lived. Mm -hmm. I and I and I believe that in my heart of cards. But you know, 67 percent on the Falco, good for Koopa Kev. 45 keeps it going. But yeah, when Koopa Kev has center, he'll, he's like always dashing back. Oh, he loves he loves center. Yeah, that's his place. Like he's very very good in the dash back game. Yes, yeah, um, Scrub does like a. If he doesn't overshoot, he gets grabbed like 100% of the time. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. And, oh, yeah, I actually like those. But Koopa Kev suffers, too. If you, if you yeah. overshoot, you're going to, you're gonna. Yeah. in my experience, overshoot generally beats a lot of the options Koopa Kev yeah. likes for. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. That's like kind of a hard option to cover is Falco. You just have to grab ledge. Oh, wait, one more. Oh, oh. Yeah, he had to do full up fast fall lasers there. Oh that was free. God. That was free. <laughs> now he's just gonna spam jab. Okay, then. Which at this percent is really good. Oh, 10%. Uh, Barry, what were you saying? Uh, let's go. So, guys, right oh here, I just want to say God. what's on the line right now. So, this is a potential chance at a free hotel venue, Koopa a Kev free tournament oh, no. at Defend the North at Regional coming up. Oh, what a read. Uh, oh, he's going with a huge opening. Let's see what he nice. can do right here. Gets the oh. follow up. 64%. Ties it right up. Horrible that side. side. It was terrible. Horrible. Oh, oh. oh it's over. It's over. It's right not now. over. It's not over. Oh. It's not over, bro. Oh, my God. God, what the fuck? First of all, the best air I've seen in my life. Horrible, horrible. Really, really bad right there, too. Just constant, We're, This is bad. They're flubbing, dude. No one knows who wants to win more. Nice, that was good. 
He should just grab ledge. Grab ledge. Grab ledge. Oh he doesn't give a shit, bro. Oh my God. Oh my He's God. just not gonna. Not dead. Not dead. It's it. It's not it. Oh, oh my God. God. I lost five dollars <laughs> because my boy. Oh fucking no. Sucks. Let's go, big buffalo. That is me. Unfortunate. Barry. Love you lots. Unfortunate. Uh, you have Venmo. <laughs> you have Venmo. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Fuck. I got money on Baby Bird. <laughs> Double or nothing. God damn it. You got Venmo? All right, I'll Venmo you. <laughs> all right, all right. Do what you got to do. So, chess money, lost some money. That's what's up. I don't have my phone. I lost my phone, too. I lost my phone and my money. Hell yeah. In the, uh, in the words of uh, Ben Gawkin Vortex... Hell yeah. It's a good son. It's a good son. Wish he was here. I don't know where he is. Oh, well. He could have made it. He could have made it. We miss you, bud. That's all we got to say. You know? We miss you, bud. So. We got a, a baby bird and an Apollo. Emma coming on in. Join the setup. Emil, I might have to take a little uh, tinkle, tinkle, little star. Can you hold down the fort while that happens? All right. All right. Emil here. Should I eat the mic more? Or am I good? All right. Baby bird versus Apollo. Apollo, uh has struggled with Falco in the past. It's just a hard matchup for Falcon in general. And Baby Bird, you know, definitely made some improvements this year. Is one of the three front runners to get the defend the North spot for Melee. We actually have a three-way tie. It's Baby Bird, um, Koopa Kev, and Smokey Blunts all in a three-way tie to get that spot. So whoever gets the highest placing here, actually, uh, like even if none of them win, it does mean something. Heavy Falco, Falcon. Um, he's not really gonna tech chase you on reaction most of the time, which can lead to big. It's a less consistent way of playing, but it's a more explosive way of playing, you know? So, someone at his level. I think is more likely to both lose to players worse than him and beat players better than him playing his style. But at some point you get to the level where you're at, you know, top 50 in the world. And at that point, I think the 20 GX style is much, uh, much better. As we've seen with Wizzy in the past few months. Falcon's a heavy boy, he's not gonna quite die to that. Oh, that was really nice. Uh, Baby Bird overextended. And you get a little bit of, you also get a little bit of invincibility off a of wall jump. So Apollo gets that wall jump up air and just clips Falco to death.
Yeah, and this is the other thing Apollo does a lot is he he's very good at realizing when you feel pressured. So, like, usually in his neutral, he's very, very patient. But if he can tell that you're a little bit scared or thrown off, he's, he just kind of comes at you just without, almost seemingly without thinking. And it's pretty jarring. And wow. Yeah, and see, he's being a lot more patient here. He thinks Baby Bird probably feels like Baby Bird's not as uh, intimidating now, but wow. Four stocks to one. This is hard. Oh my goodness. Oh, and that's it. An unfortunate ending to uh, to that game, but Apollo moves on to winner semis. And now we have the other side of winner semis, JPO versus Smokey. Smokey has lost a tournament here to JPO recent, pretty recently. Um, Smokey for a long time was like the guy to beat here most weeks unless someone, you know, out of town showed up. But now people are starting to catch up. JPO, Kevin, um, Baby Bird. They're all pretty close right now, I'd say. All right, best of five, guys. Gonna see a fox ditto. being very careful not to overextend. Yeah, and that, that dash attack right there is pretty safe because the option it doesn't cover is tech roll in, but you're so far away from their tech roll in that you're not going to get punished, so I like that control right there. Oh, interesting. Doesn't go for the ledge. No ledge dash there. Wonder if that was probably an accident. Tries to snipe the uh, illusion. Wow, just barely kills. Fox is up smash pretty strong. I think had he not been... Like, that also required him to be that height. Like, if he were grounded, I don't think he would have died. Uh, what's up? Got, uh, Kyle. Kyle. Wait, no, yeah. 
You changed it to Kyle now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Kyle. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a long time. <laughs> yeah. Alright. We're at this home. I said a big ass house. What's going on here? Uh, we got Smokey, JPO, Winter Semis. Ah, uh, the right there. Yeah, they're they're both being very careful not to overextend. J JPO just beat Kev, right? Uh, I think so. He beat Fish It. Fish It? That's what it was. Joe right. doesn't look like he's happy with his headset. Yeah. I don't know what he could be. But, uh, how's it looking so far? Uh, you know, I think I think they're pretty close in skill right now. So yeah. I think it's kind of just who gets the more openings. And that game it was Smokey. And JPL looked like he was picking up at the end there. I thought he'd take that. Yeah. That uh, second last stock at least. Uh, we'll see how this one goes. Battlefield this time. But they started on Dreamland. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it's a ditto. It's yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, weapons, exactly. Ah, yeah. uh, battlefielded. Got to hold back. Do you? Yeah. Is that what it is? Yep. I knew that. There's still so many things. But I don't know. Like, I was playing Young before, and I, I got meteored. Yeah. And I was like, can I tether out of that? Like, I actually have no idea. <laughs> I actually don't know. Right? Because <laughs> you, you could jump out of a meteor, so I guess you can... Jump then tether. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 that makes sense. But I guess you probably can't just straight tether. I should know. I've right? We've been playing the game long enough. Looking for uh... that one's mine. You still in? No, I lost two one to fish it. Fish it. Oh yeah, he went uh, DK. I saw. Yeah, game one he went DK. I lost. Game two he went DK. I won. And game three he went Peach, and I was lost. Oh, okay. On the right, does, doesn't uh, she has a pretty long chain grab, right? On. No. Uh, not really. I not just kind of assume she has chain grabs on literally every. Yeah, I team. know people assume that, but it's it's kind of not true. Uh, it's more just her being a better character. Yeah. Um. Like. Like, for example, like, the Mario Brothers have a chain grab on her, but she doesn't have a chain grab on them. And it's not like she's losing that matchup. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, like, Sheik's back air just beats a lot of characters in the cast. Same with spacey back airs. <laughs> yeah, I see what you're saying. JPO's, like, getting good percent on most of these stocks, but Smokey's just closing them out Yeah. very fast. He's Easy. getting a lot of stray hits, but yeah. not a lot of big openings. It's so uh, it's uh, it's pretty close though. Ooh, yeah, that was a nice up tilt. Nice. Oh, and that was there the it is. Extension. Yep. That's why they were being so careful earlier. The hardest easy thing in this game to hit. <laughs> oh, got Adam right there too. I don't think he was expecting him to drop no, that though. Yeah, no. Because I wasn't expecting him to drop that low. Ooh. Oh, really good awareness not to uh, go for the ledge. Oh, there. nice, nice. All right. Back to that two stocks. JPO picked it up that game. Picks it up towards the end, honestly. Yeah. So it just looks like he's converting a lot more of these. Stray hits and it kills the least. With he, I mean, he got both those last two with shine, so as you probably should in Fox Dittos. Can be the difference maker. Interesting not to just go for like a chain grab on that platform. Yeah, one. I thought he was going to. Just build up a little more percent. Okay, I like it. Not anymore. Well, Smokey should have grabbed ledge there. Yeah. That's just him being scared, not grabbing ledge there.
Girl using a tilt super well too. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty important move in this matchup because... Just catch approaches. Yeah, you know? exactly. If, if you're going to come in with a lazy nair, yep. you're, you and should get up tilted. Fox is one of the best characters in the game at approaching, mm -hmm. so having that tool to hold him Stuff off it, is yeah. really nice. And it's super fast too. It's like, you know, Sheik F tilt is a good anti-approach tool yeah. too, but it's got so much lag on it mm -hmm. that like it's... You it's have just to be the, a lot more careful about when you push it out rather than Fox's up tilt, which you can kind of spam a lot yeah. of the time. I feel like with Sheik's the trade-off is the, is the range. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. The range and the angle it sends at. Too. Yeah, exactly. Sets up perfectly for a lot of her shit. Yeah. All of her shit. I mean, it's oh. not like Stuck Fox's up tilt is any different. Ooh. Ah. He, he had the right idea. With all these up tilts, I'm surprised I haven't seen either of them go for like running down tilt. Come on. Just more range and. It's got, yeah, a lot of range and like it can duck the up tilt. Yeah. Oh, okay. And down tilt also sets up for a lot of stuff. Mm. Maybe one of them make that adjustment. Yeah, because you're right, I haven't seen that once. Ooh, nice pivot. Yeah, Joel's been doing that a lot. He's just trying to get him off stage with that shine, but at that point, yeah. I don't know why he doesn't just, like, back throw. Maybe he's saving it. Yeah. Game five, last Game stock. Five, yeah. <laughs> oh, there was a down, down, down tilt. Oh, that was, that was lazy. Oh. Oh, they're they're nervous. Yeah, they are. Oh. There. Not quite. Yeah. There, there you is. go. Alright, right, 2-0 Joel. Joel. Yeah, or Joel's two playing. 2-1. Two one. Yeah, 2-1. One. Joel's playing real well. Yeah. I mean, it's not like Smokey's not playing bad at all, but... Chippewa's just playing real well. Like I said, it's just who's getting more openings. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like they're both very close in skill right now, so. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this. There's some filthy movement. Smokey's mad. <laughs> That's what that was right there. Hey, there's the back throw. Yeah, I, don't, yeah, Gio, I though, think that yeah. was a... That one didn't look like it was on purpose. Tries to shoot the eye off the shy guys, but he got uh, two of them. I don't think he was expecting to get both hit by both. <laughs> up smash, up smash, yep. great combo. Oh, I almost lived that. That was really good, yeah. Oh, <laughs> he tried to go for something so cheeky there. <laughs> doing a ton of just running, just raw up smashes. They are, yeah. It's working for the most part, too, so. Uh, uh Smokey, SD. I think Smokey needs to um, play more aggressive. I think. I, th I think that was working out for him in the beginning of this game, and now he's playing a little more like what they were doing before. Yeah. I think that's working to Joel's favor. I always say you can only do that once per set. Yeah. Falco maybe two, because it's faster. If you're playing against me, you can do it over and over, <laughs> and I won't ever pick it up. He's got to close this out, like, now. Smokey. Yeah. If he can take, like, that percent. That's This uh, is, like, oh. the percent he can take. Yeah, now. He's still, he's not in a terrible position. It's just, like, one straight hit's going to send him off the stage. Good, good. I like that he backed off there, too. He didn't want to get shield dropped. 
Oh. oh. Not quite. <gasps> that was so risky. <laughs> With all the raw up smashes that have been right. going on and up tilts. Just come straight yeah. down. Oh. He's not dead yet. Wow, that was a really good angle. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Uh, congrats to JPL. 3 1. Played real well. Got Koopa Kev Apollo next. This one's always fun. Both just crazy fast. It's gonna be a nice, entertaining one. Yeah. I was I was I was talking during the Baby Bird set about Apollo and how I feel like when he he's good at telling when people are nervous and scared, and that's when he'll that's when he'll go in all the time. Yeah. But usually his neutral is like really slow paced and like patient. But the second he sees that you're like doing something, cri like dumb, he he's just all over you. Yeah. And it can be sort of tilting. It's just like overbearing. Like whenever I play him, he's just on top of me. But yeah. I think that he plays Spacey's much different. I mean, I, I haven't played him with my Falcon like ever. I don't think. But I think he plays Spacey's much more aggressive than when I've seen him play like Mars and Peaches and stuff. Yeah. He's just like right on top of you a lot. Like, oh no, this is a warm up. Yeah. Okay. It looked, it looked like they were warm for a second. Well, I'm right I lost some where I was sitting before. Mm. Controller? This? I think every time I come here, I lose something. Like, I'll walk out without my keys or something. Oh It'll fall on a couch. Yeah. You don't have a Twitter either? Nope. No. I used to. Yeah, me too. I deleted it. Me too. Mine got uh, hacked by a porn account. Oh, nice. So all my friends, I didn't use it for like a year. All my friends were uh, texting me. It was on Thanksgiving. <laughs> like, yeah, you might want to check out your Twitter. What are you posting, dude? Something about Apollo too. Would you play him? It it seriously feels like he knows what you're gonna do, like all yeah. the time. Like, well, that that's totally, yeah. He's a very read heavy Falcon, and I was talking about how I think that at his level, that makes it so he's more likely to lose to people worse than him, but also more likely to beat people better yeah. than him. He's um, uh he's really good at uh reading roles. Yeah, which I think is yeah. like. He's very good at reading rolls. Which is something that, like, this this level is, like, yeah. crazy, crazy important for that not even people don't think about nearly as much. Like, I just started thinking about that playing this game for, like, four years. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh... The issue is just that eventually when you get to people who are, you know, at a certain level, mm -hmm. they're very conscious of what they're doing. Yeah. And so that's when you have like the whizzing style be way more effective. But you have to be like top 50 for that yeah, to be yeah, yeah. the case. So at this point, you can just wait for Kev to roll out and try to call it out. For now, people are always getting better. He just he just looks like he always knows. Oh, that was real smart. Oh, he, he totally could have gotten him out of that. Yeah, he was having a lot of trouble with Baby Bird game one and then four stocked in game two. Baby Bird plays Falco, right? Yeah. He four stocks in game two? Yeah. Grant, there was one SD, but it was still. It was, you know, yeah. And it was on FD, so. 
But he lost game one and they played game two no. on FT? No, he won game oh, one he won. just oh, okay. barely. He, he was losing and then Baby Bird, Baby Bird overextended for an edge guard and Apollo um, wall jump up aired him. Jules is thinking fast. Yeah. But yeah, you're totally right. What Kevin needs to do is just think about how he's teching. Oh, Koopa Kev. Oh, uh, his name is Koopa Kev. Okay. But, um, but yeah, I mean, Koopa Kev wasn't rolling out very much at all last game. He was just, you know, he was just calling out his text super, wow, that was nice. He was just calling out his text. Apollo yeah. was calling out his text super hard. Well, yeah, but that's also part of it, right? Yeah. Um... When you're more conscious of it, and like more conscious of what Apollo's trying to read, then it's more likely that you can kind of play the game with him, you know? Rather than it just being a one sided read fest, it becomes a chess game. Yeah, you know? like, uh, he, I think he thinks I'm gonna roll this way. Yep. So I'm gonna roll this way. Exactly. Or you can just smash the stick in all different directions. You can do that. <laughs> if, if you don't know, you can't know. That's what Mango does. Yeah. Oh, oh you got it. Oh. <laughs> I respect it. He's going to take him down with him. He could have, he could, uh, Apollo could have totally survived that too. Yeah. So right now, Apollo's reading a lot of tech roll in. Yeah, right there not working so these games are all quick yep I was just gonna say so I think Kevin's gonna tech roll in now and then Apollo's not gonna read it that's how the game goes it's like uh, you know when you're taking a test and there are like four B's in a row yeah, yeah, and, and you're, you're like the next answer can't it be can't B. be B like I, sometimes I know it it's for sure the right answer, but it can't be. <laughs> Same amount of time. Ooh, love that. Forward is not used enough. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that time Apollo read the roll in. Here's his timings off, but he, I mean, read the roll out. Oh, there, yeah. unfortunate. I feel like the frame rate on this thing dropped mid-set. I think FD is just a weird stage. One time I had some friends and they came over to play some melee and they had just done mushrooms. <laughs> and then they tried to play on FD and they were like, I, I can't do it. It's no. Just tripping them out. Because when I play on FD, I don't even notice the background. But I mean, if you're on a yeah. if you're on shrooms, <laughs> or probably, it's probably the only thing you notice. Yeah, exactly. That's how that works. Anytime I've done them, any sort of lights, like bright, like colorful lights, just like you, it's all you can see. Yeah. Hey, Tim. Got concussed over here. By me? Oh yeah, he wants to leave. So I've been waiting for you. Did you win? All right, what do you want to do? Five stents? Oh, nice name. So what do you want to do? Five stents? We don't necessarily have to money match. I just want to play my young Link against you. And I want you to try. Uh, <laughs> All right, $2 money match it is. Yeah, we got... Kyle and Concuss talking about money matching next to me. Apparently Young Link Puff, is that how it's going to go oh down? Oh yeah, that's how it's going down. That's how it's going down. 
My fox hasn't been cutting it lately. And they just switched to Young Link. Yeah. Uh, Concussed is talking about how net play people, he'll beat their Fox and then they'll switch to Young Link just because. So he's saying he's got experience versus the character. But if you couldn't hear that over the mic. Yeah. Whoa. I'll, I'll come down. All right. a hard tackle to hit. All right. I think I've been on the commentary long enough. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go too. Oh wait, is Govinda gonna commentate with me? All right, never mind. Let's go. Yo, are we here? Yo, it's We're our here. boy Koopa Kev versus Apollo. Yo, Koopa Kev fighting for his life. He wants that DTN. Yep. Free. Yeah, I was. Yeah, so he's the only one still in winners of the yeah. uh, of the three. Apollo comes every other week, so he's like, yeah. Apollo would have qualified if he didn't, you know, not show up half the time. Yeah, Apollo looks dead inside. <laughs> <laughs> he always looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, when he's playing. Yeah. Normally, he's a very smiley guy. You know, it's interesting. Apollo also plays Captain Falcon in, in uh, Ultimate. It's yeah. really strange when people like you. Does like that? Does that mess up your tech if you play the same character? Um, mode? it's just like I'm playing Falcon, this character, I'm gonna fuck it up. Falcon and Ultimate after the patch is actually really similar to Falcon and Melee <laughs> now. Yes. The oh only, my the god. The only thing is like ledge. you know in Ultimate you can't like down B to recover your jump. Yo, Cap wasn't even holding ledge. He just missed the ledge. He was just like, yeah. Hey, let's see. He's trying to land on him with shine. <laughs> hey, it works. Yep. Oh, uh, I thought he was dead. <laughs> I did not think you, he was you gonna get on stage. Back? Yeah. <laughs> right, here we but go. I've always oh, been terrible at edge guarding Falcon, so. <laughs> Yo, Kev's gonna take this game, go out of game five, let's go. Yo, shine up smashes, man. Yeah, oh! <laughs> Yo, oh, Nostradamus right here. Wait. <laughs> Big ass brain. Did you see what he just did uh -huh. with the rising platform? Uh-huh. That was sick. <laughs> Yo, you think he's sitting there with a metronome in his head and just counting him like this platform is rising in three, two, no, one. It's random. It's not ra it's not it's a random. timer. It's really not a timer? Yeah. I thought it was on the timer. No. Oh. It's Are random we at PS2? What platforms go where? Is the PS2 transformations always uh is it always like the same order? No. No? Order is random, time is not. So it always So it's every two minutes, but Yeah. But time is uh yeah, which exactly. one is random? Okay, cool. Uh, because yo, the melee that community was a is Holy fuck. so Barry, the stream runner, is asking why we still allow transforming stadium instead of frozen stadium when we have the capability to freeze it. And the answer is that the melee community is very I'm not um, a bunch of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say not a bunch of bitches? Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I was gonna say stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> yo, no, no. The transforms are interesting for a lot of characters, like. Like, I was watching at the monthly, I was watching, uh, like, Puff versus Fox. And it's like, during the transformation, yeah. it's like, why do I need to approach? There's literally no reason for me to approach as, as a Puff. And, and how is that interesting? It's not interesting at all. <laughs> it's literally not interesting at all. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm just going to chill over here and then wait for this transformation to go away. Yeah, there are two transformations where people literally just don't interact. Yeah. No, this one is fine. There's the up canceling with uh with with uh Marth. Kinda sick on the Yeah. yeah what yeah. transformation is it? The wood? What is it what is it called? This one? The wind? No 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 no. The 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 one with the the cliff on the left side. Mount. Yeah. Mountain. yeah. Is it count is it called mountain? Rock. Yeah. Rock, yeah, yeah. See that's what I thought. Like on the rock transformation, you know, Zane made that whole like edge cancel up B. Yeah. And it's not really punishable. Like, you can just do it forever. And if they decide to jump into it, they die. <laughs> True. All right, here we go. Kev hanging on to that one stock. Holy crap. Let's see it. Fox can also kill you at, like, All right. 20%. Why was Apollo jabbing that direction? <gasps> he 
he read that, but it was a little off timing. Yeah. That was a good jab jab grab. Yeah, Kevin's really scared to overextend right now. Yeah. No, I see that. Um, this is still very, very doable. Spot Fox is explosive yeah. as hell. But Falcon, like one knee, one read from Apollo here, and Kevin and is all dies. over you. Oh my. Yo, him going on stage was oh, questionable. Yo, he, it was. he, he almost led to died, he, yeah. Yeah. That was really close to being an edge guard. Oh, yep. Not oh. Him. He's still here. No. Oh, no. I didn't, uh. I didn't even realize that. Fox Illusion wasn't was gonna go on stage. I don't think Kevin did either. I thought he was gonna. I think he thought he was gonna grab ledge. Oh. Koopa I Kev, excuse me, Barry. My boy Kevin. <laughs> nah, I mean you know it's Kevin. Cl close Koopa enough. Kev. <laughs> it's no, not like I'm calling Apollo Gary. Gary, <laughs> who's Gary? Koopa Kev's clearly Gary. <laughs> no, but I, I think I think that that like that interaction like when uh, Apollo went off edge, he should have just died. Baby it was really Bird, close. Smoky Blunts. Oh, this is big. Yo, this is big. This is big. The like the loser of this is absolutely not getting they're out. The DTN. Yeah, they're like, out they're, of the DTN. They're out of the running. But you know, Apollo just put Kevin in losers too, so it's, yeah. it's really interesting. Yeah. Because the winner of this will basically end up facing off for Kev, against Kev for the the, the franchise division. Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. Yo, this match is big. Smokey lost to JPO in winners. Yeah, that was that who was. Did, who did Baby Bird lose to? Um, Apollo. Apollo. God damn it, Gary. Yeah, <laughs> Apollo. <laughs> God damn it, Gary. The T-shirt. Yo, yo, chat. Hit me up. Who who will buy a T-shirt that says "God damn it, Gary"? <laughs> for, for my boy Apollo. <laughs> Do we? Who's the other Gary? Who's the second Gary? Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. It's get, wait. No. Wait. I was like, wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yo, Cam, Cam, Cam 2 is just a chair. <laughs> yo, Smokey Monster's like, yo, Fox so easy, I don't even need to play. The other side of this is Koopa Kev Fishit. Yeah. Um, yo, Fishit made a big upset this this uh, at the monthly. Yeah. It was sick. Who'd he beat? Yo, uh, yo, yo Barry, who, who did Fishit beat at the monthly? It was somebody big. I forgot. Yeah, he beat Tuesday. Yeah, he put Tuesday in losers. That was sick. That's crazy. Yeah, here we are at the standings. You got Koopa Kev, Smokey Blunt. Ah, huh? oh, he's not here right now. <laughs> yeah. Three-way tie for first place. Oh yeah, they're all they're all in the same spot in bracket right Yo, now. Yeah, that was mad greedy as hell for Smokey to go for that smash. He's just like, you know, he might, he might, he might go there. Yeah, I mean, when you take risks like that, it feels so good when it pays off. Yeah, no, JPO can't, can't get it. No. I guess if, let's say, in theory, if both, either one of these players and Kevin move on and they both lose next set, we would have like a tiebreaker set. Yeah. Yo, I'm all about the tiebreaker set. First, yeah. fir first to 10 on stream. <laughs> first to 10. Nah, first to 25, you know, oh slave labor. <laughs> Let's go. Smokey evens it up. Yeah, 30%, 30%. It's not bad. Yeah. I was talking earlier about how Smokey, uh, like, he, he kind of used to be in less someone else came out the guy to beat at these tournaments and yeah. now you know oh my God, i'd say dare. him him kevin and baby bird yeah baby bird's JPO, been turning up baby bird's like him you know. kevin jpo and baby bird are all kind of like same yeah. level and even i mean apollo too but he just doesn't show up as much yeah not that baby bird's like unknown but he's definitely like not like oh my god that was a little six spike dare he, spike I, he just recently graduated college, Baby Bird, I know. Yeah, so. sometimes you just need time in your hand yeah. to get good. Like, yeah. Smokey, for a long time, oh, the only time he would lose was here uh, was if he played Scrub. Like, he'd always lose to Scrub. What about uh, JD used to be here? 
Oh yeah, well he's, he's the gatekeeper. JD is the win. Yeah, JD didn't show up that often though. I don't even know where JD is nowadays. He moved. Yeah, I need he's to no know longer that. a Rockland boy. Oh, I didn't know that. New Jersey. Ah. That was a good nair. Was Great that back or nair? Uh, I did. I I thought it was nair. I'm not sure. And right, here we go. Yeah, it'd be mad troll if Baby Bird just played Fox. Uh. Like, oh, you mean like in general? Yeah, like yeah, his yeah. name was Baby. Okay, okay. <laughs> Short hop there. You know, up throw. No it's problem. like. Uh, I mean. Kirby Kaze didn't play Kirby. Yeah, that was a that was a good that's a good roll read. Like he just mistimed it. Yeah. He he literally dared him onto the platform and immediately down smashed. So that if he rolled, he'd get like smacked by it. That was good. Yeah, we are dominating right now. Oh, Smoke smoking. taking out the headset. Yeah. yeah, what if he's just like uh what's it called? <laughs> you know the limitless? Like unlocked. <laughs> yeah. He's just, Take off the headset. Go ham. <laughs> Let's go. That was a great um he mixed up his timing on the up air there. Yeah. All right. Smokey just down one stock. Let's see. Yeah, Smokey. Everybody's like, right trying to dash attack there. Kind of notoriously hasn't been good versus Falco. Who's normally the, like Falco to beat? To beat? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, who's the Falco to beat? Who's the, who's the big Falco? Here? In the area? Yeah. I mean, it was Scrub before yeah, Baby Scrub. Bird. And Scrub usually beat Smokey. Oh, okay. Like, Smokey would go really far in bracket, but if you met Scrub, you would, like, almost always lose. Okay. That was a good get-up attack. Good patience. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't jump off Legend back air there. Yeah. There you go. See, that? that's exactly what I was expecting the last time he did that. All right, uh, you know, Smokey, let's get some extra credit. No, nope, never mind. Yeah, that's kind of why I don't like this counter pick from Smokey, because Falco, a lot of the time, has trouble killing at higher percents, uh -huh. but not on this stage. Oh, great tech. Now that smash was a lot of good shield pressure. Yeah, Falco is like, I'd say, the most similar character uh, in Ultimate would be Wolf. Wolf. Like, so the spacing game. Yo, DBZ, yo, Smokey make, does not make it. Oh, Rand Randall. Randall for the save. Yeah. Let's go, Smokey. Yeah, that was a good presence of mind for him to land on Randall. But though. he's dead now, see? Oh, he's dead. On almost that was back other, air, right? Yeah, that was back air. Yeah. Any other stage, he wouldn't have died from that back air, but... That was, that was like like really good presence of mind for him. Just like, yo, Randolph is here. I'm gonna be onto Randolph. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I don't like this counter pick, but yeah. I don't know why he decides to go back. Like, like what is it that he thinks is good about the stage for him? Oh no. I couldn't tell you. Yeah, Koopa Cat fish it next. Oh. Yo, I just love DK, but every time Fisher plays uh, plays Peach, I want to die. <laughs> yeah, that I, I had a good set with Fisher today. Yo, Fisher's sick. Yeah. It's the first time I took a game, so I was pretty, pretty happy. All right, here we go, here we go. That was a wave shine. That was sick. Battle of the up tilts. Falco's yeah. is better, though. <laughs> I mean, he evened it up like, oh my god. That was sick. He... Yeah. He's like, he was losing pretty hard, and now he's brought it back. Oh, oh. my god. That was a Another big SD. SD. Yeah. I think this is Smokey. It's like, unless like something catastrophic happens, you know, we're going to game four. Uh, Let's go. Good shine. Yeah. Big Bird holds here. He's like, what the hell did I just do? Yeah. Where does he go? He might go to... Mountain or Pokemon? Oh, Yo, Baby Bird plays PoE. Let's go. PO is mad game. Have you ever played? No. Half it's like exile. Diablo, but different. Yeah, it, it's a Diablo type game. I've never had a very good um, PC, so uh, I've never really had the ability to game. Nah, it's pretty fun. My PCs. Uh, 
Yeah, them dash backs on Smokey is pretty good. He's like, I don't want to eat the percent from the laser, no problem. Yeah. Yo, that up air was mad sneaky. Let's go. Lenning. What was, what was that? Lenning. Bear? 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 All right, first stock goes to Smokey. 5% taken. Hell yeah. Up smash. That was a good conversion, my baby bird. Yeah. It's funny, a lot of Falco's moves are better than Fox's, but the overall toolkit just works in Fox's favor more. That dare contested it up there. The up air would have killed. Yeah. For sure. That height, yeah. Yep. Let's go. Just barely. Four, four socks and two? We're going game five? Could be. Game five? Question is where Baby Bird takes him then. Because yeah. this doesn't seem to be the right counter pick. The funny thing is, I I'd pick, I would take him to the stage that he was going to. Yeah, <laughs> Yoshi's. Yeah. yeah, he was going to Yoshi's, but it's been going in Baby Bird's favor for the most part. Huh? Oh. He could go to Yoshi's, or if uh, Smokey allows him. But if I was Smokey, I would. Yeah, I, I like that this. That F-Smash was so aggressive. I think this room to run around for Smokey is better yeah. in this matchup. Yeah. Uh, Baby Bird just held shield a little too long there. All right. Game five. I don't know. Smokey was moving that, that game. Yeah, it was. I think... Fountain is the counter pick for Baby Bird. You think so? Yeah. I still think Yoshi is. Like, I still think he should Well, but uh, Smokey can refuse. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, in this game we have D DSR. DSR, yeah. yeah. Uh, where do you take him? Pokemon. I will say... Uh, Falco lasering at that height under those platforms is very hard to contest. Oh, oh my goodness. I was surprised he didn't do anything about the second place. Sometimes you just don't know. I should have no idea. Can you take roll in this game? You what? Tech roll. Yeah. Tech rolling has been around since 64. Okay. I assume so. I just didn't, you know, didn't know. Yeah. I'm just a, the a wee that, lad. Yeah, the things that are different are, compared to ultimate, uh, one, you can only air dodge once. Um, two, you can chain grab. Uh, three, rolls uh, don't, like, they're, um... Lag doesn't stack, which is a new ultimate thing. Yeah. Rolls and. I wouldn't fight anyone on this transformation ever. I just run away. Like, there's no reason. Yeah. Um. What else? You can run past people. I saw. I forgot. I assume it was Zane, but it was it was a Marth. I. Who's got to play? Falcon. Was it was it Falcon for Falcon Puff? It was somebody versus a uh, hungry box, and like this transformation is like there's no reason to approach. Like you just yeah. run away. It's not. It's true. It's literally my hands in the break for one minute. All right. This is really big right now, though. Yeah, Game. maybe burned up right now. I mean, it's not tremendous. Like it's not a tremendous deficit, but. Uh. You know, let's talk the way stock. the way Baby Bird's been playing this game, it's pretty big. Smokey just has not had very like his first his first opening was just off Baby Bird uh, not edge guarding correctly. So like, oh god, that's super scary for Fox right there. Dead. Oh, that was a good up air. It's up throw up air, right? Yep. Yeah. Classic combo. Seventy percent. Screen did something about with it. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. 
Oh, that's mad close. Let's go. Yeah, so Smokey's doing a lot of um, full hop approaches, which are very good against Falco, but Baby Bird's doing a really good job of stuffing them out. Oh, back air, uh, it was like a weak reverse. Oh, oh, almost got the tech off the windmill to save him, but... Oh, that could have been huge right there. So he wants to close this, out, this stock out fast. Yeah, for sure. Oh, that's oh. it. Yeah. Jeez, uh, Smokey. Oh, Smokey. Yeah, yeah Baby Smokey's Bird earned happy. it, bro. Baby Bird is playing out of his mind. Smokey's yeah, out. Smokey's That's out. It. This is Koopa Kev versus Bishop. Smokey's not happy. Yeah, not happy at all. Yeah, Manjaz's hat looks so insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Kevin, K Koopa Kev versus Fishit. Yeah. Uh, I want to see some DK action. If he goes Peach, I'm going to cry. Yeah, no. I know. What's it been looking like week to week from uh, Cooper Cat Fish? It they've both been here. Like, like, what's the record? Do you know? Huh? You don't? You they, know? they like practice together. So, yeah, nope. him, J JPO, and Cooper Cat, they're all like, they always play together. So, oh. yeah. Shout outs to the boy ENC Messiah. This new uh, overlay is sick. It is. It's really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Yep. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yo, it's some DK act. Oh no! Well, this is this is just. Oh, it's uh, bun yeah. bun check. I was like, what the hell just happened? My boy just ran off the map. Yo, I actually think it's mad spooky that like you can't see like hat like three quarters of the DK hit hitbox to so the same like color as the back of the stage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the strat, dude. <laughs> yeah, the strat. Ain't nobody picking white DK. <laughs> uh, white, I don't think white DK exists in this game. What's the brightest color? Yellow. Yellow. What the hell is a yellow DK? Please stop. Or green. Green. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you gotta you gotta pick the color of the stage. Let's go. Hide me. Not sure dad. if yellow exists ac either. Actually, we don't have very many colors in this game. You see, this is crazy. You can't actually see DK. It's not possible. He just got that tie. When he's got his back turned, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, where's my back air? I can't even see it. We're just lucky he's got those paws. Yep. Yeah, I know Fisher Does went, side B exist in this game? Uh, side B, yeah, it's just really bad. Uh, yeah, his, his moveset is the same in Ultimate. It's just like every single move got better. <laughs> Yeah, we love side B. Yeah, it doesn't have Yo. super armor in this game. It doesn't ground. First stock goes to Koopa. Uh, it only meteors, so like even if you get it off stage, like people can just jump out. Uh -huh. yeah. The thing about this game, I I, I see him like um, up being in neutral all the time. <laughs> yeah, up. So up B. Um, there is a a first hit of up B on DK's up B that it like goes above his head and it's super super strong. Uh -huh. So he'll do that a lot for either anti approaches or out of shield. Accident. But yeah, Kevin's playing this right. When you're playing a low tier. The way to do it is just to play lame. I guess, just because your options are better than his anyway, so yeah. you like, there's no reason to overcommit. Exactly. That The low and mid tiers in this game, like, the way they get anything is when you're approaching. Yeah. Did JLo get out already? Yeah. Yeah. He lost to Concuss. Yo, JLo had, like, the tournament of his life, like, two weeks ago. Uh, yeah, the one I was at, right? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, popping yeah. off. I don't know. I, I love low tiers in this game because they're so weird. <laughs> they're so they're, strange. They're very weird, but if you saw them more often, 
you'd be like, this character's really lame, is the thing. Yeah. Like, they're all very lame, but because you don't see them very often, it's, like, new to you, yeah. you know? Yeah, I hear that. But the way you win with low tiers is almost exclusively by playing super duper lame. Uh, he went for the up B onto the, f onto the platform into up smash. That was sick. Didn't pay off, but that was an interesting idea. Because you like, he might want to like jump forward area you, and he just eat that up, yeah. uh, up smash if you want. Try it. Yeah. I mean, this is this set's way more important for Kevin than it is for Fisher. Yeah. You know, like Fisher, I'm sure, like off Fish pride. Fisher's like, yeah, I'm this. trying to win some money today. Yeah. Kevin's like, I'm trying to go to DTN. Yeah. Shout out to Defend North, like, like. Also, shout outs to Kevin. He super duper has had the come up lately. Oh yeah. But man, this is. I mean, he had a reason. To, he had a reason to go ham. Big. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Oh, up smash. Oh, that's it. Kev seals game one. That was mad close to him. It was. Yeah. DK could have killed him in a second. Could have. But I think I think Fish it was looking for something more guaranteed. Not so much a read. Yeah, FD, the obvious counterpick. Uh, DK has like a crazy chain grab on spaces here. But DK is also very slow and Fox is very fast. So. Oh my god, he got caught. He was by the so fire. close. He, he wanted to like walk up, uh, yeah. uh, walk up back here. But it was just like right on the fire tip. Oh yeah, DK's shield is also super small in this game. And he has a uh, hurt box on his tie for some reason. <laughs> it's hilarious. Yo, 80%. Yo. Push yeah. this man off stage and hold that shield. Most most low tiers in melee, like ah. Uh, oh no. There's a a pretty good reason they're low tier. Like it's not just you know having a bad move set. Most of the time it's like they were just designed poorly. Like DK having a small shield and having a hurt box on his tie. Game and Watch having no shield essentially and not being able to L cancel two of his moves. The only two two moves in the game. Wait, three of his moves? Three of his moves. The only three moves in the game that can't be L canceled. You know, that's what happens when you make a game in less than a year. Oh, but here's here's the good chain grab. Yeah, when you got the TK punch, it's a guaranteed kill if, if you do it right. I mean, Fisher's not completely out of it yet. If he can get two more of those chain grabs, it's big. Oh. Yeah, but Kevin has no reason to, like, really engage. Yeah. I will say that um, one thing that is pretty bad for Fisher and DK in this game, which I forgot about until I realized he didn't have uh, his punch. Yeah. When, uh, when you, ch when you oh, have a charge punch off stage. in this game... If yeah. you get hit out of your up B, uh, even if it's grounded or whatever, you lose it. So oh, Fish it sucks. using up B and neutral, if he gets hit out of that, he loses a punch. That's not okay. Yeah. He got the re-grabbing at grabbed and said. There we go. That was good. Yeah. He gets. That was good. Yeah. That was, good. That, was, that was a grab up here. Ah, uh, grab up throw, and then re grab F smash. Yep. Yeah. That's. No matter what Kevin did there, he was either gonna get chain grabbed or de die. Yeah, that's scary. That was sick. Cargo throw. Cargo throw back air combos the back in the re grab. That's sick. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> 
DK, yeah, DK's combo game on spaces is pretty ridiculous. Yeah, this is a very convincing game. I fish it. That was a mistake. Yeah, DK's, um... I think he only has two options out of cargo throw in this game, which is up and forward. Yeah. Um, and they're both... Well, up is, like, just the only good one. <laughs> Oh, tries to go for the forward air, but back air outspaces it. Yeah, see, that was that first hit of up B that I was talking about. Yeah, the, the strong hitbox? Yep. No, that was sick. Like, you can definitely see that. Oh, that actually killed him. That was insane. But Kevin's got to be happy here, knowing yeah. that he's up 2-0, even if he loses on FD once, you know? Yeah, then he doesn't have to go back to FD till game 5 unless, you know. No, he doesn't have to go back to FD at all. No, I mean, on game 5, assuming Fisher wins the counter pick. Again, we got DSR. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. DSR is weird. <laughs> See, I I feel the opposite because I'm not this first Yeah, <laughs> when I went to the ultimate tournament like two weeks ago, I played a Pac-Man, and I was like, okay, I banned these two stages. Um, after he and he had won on um, Pokemon before that, and he's like, okay, I'm gonna go with Pokemon. And in my head, I was like, you can't do that. They can't do that. And so, then I huh? and then I looked at the stage list, and I was like, oh right, they don't have DSR in this game. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. That was a good neutral B. He Shine has DSR on. Yo, for he neutral B killed him at 50. Yeah, man. It was at 50. He just punched him off the hell of the stage. There's also no rage. That's another thing about this game. Uh, is uh, no rage just makes combo game easier. Yes, but it it also. I say this with Pika man. <laughs> so like, no rage is my jam. But it also. Uh, it makes it less likely for characters to just sort of do really dumb stuff. Uh -huh. Like sometimes when you have rage, you know, it's supposed to be a, a good thing for the player losing. But sometimes, you know, you get to like 150, let's say you're like Bowser or something, right? You've got a bunch of rage. You're playing against another character. If you, I'm surprised that he decided to go Peach after winning that game. Um, it's because he doesn't have nearly as good a combo game on any other stage. Oh, but first time goes to fish it. I can see that. That makes a lot of sense. FD allows him to chain grab. Yeah, the chain grab is guaranteed and... It's not as hard to catch Fox because he can't run around on platforms. I wonder if he loses his game on his counter. Oh, I feel like he's over. But if he oh. wins this game, if he decides to go Peach again. So Kevin, uh, had he hit that shine, um, Fishit would have died because Fishit accidentally used his double jump to float there. And Kevin, Kevin's wearing headphones, so the uh, the given headphones, so he's got all this audio that he can hear. All right. He's a 120. That that's easily sealable. He just needs to not give any extra credit to Kev. That was a good angle. Oh, down smash seals it. Oh, it's right? a stitch. Now what can you do with it? Gonna get some some big. Uh, oh, it yeah. Away. Had even it, had it connected, it would have shined. So. Oh wait, this is losers' quarters. So wait, then baby or Kevin play next, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby or Kevin will play and lose. So baby So there won't be a tiebreaker set. Oh. We just like money matches. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was. 
That was a good delay. Fish is and like, nah, it's mine. None you of the. You got the one angle that only grabs ledge. You're dead. Oh. Yeah, that smash is good. Yeah, tried to jab up smash, didn't quite get it, but then she gets the up smash anyway. All right. Can he do it? Yeah, and he's... Oh. Okay, that could have been big. But what, I was, what I'm noticing from Kevin right here is he's just... He's running running around Peach because he knows that Peach is, just can't really catch up to him if he does it. Yeah, he's just standing fast in Peach. Yeah. Peach, like, not only is she slow on the ground, but her jump, her jump squat... That back air was sick. That's another thing I forgot about. <laughs> Uh, jump squat, every character's jump squat in ultimate is three frames. Yeah, this is different. Yeah, every, every character is a different uh, jump squat. Yo, we're going to game five, boys. Yo, Kev wants this. Definitely, yeah. He wants his chance to, to play Baby Bird for that spot. He yep. doesn't want to just give it up here. Oh, we're Changes going to colors. Yoshi's. Changes colors to match the stage. Is that camo? Works better on Pokemon, but <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it's revenge for the black DK earlier, you know. <laughs> nice. Up throw up air doesn't connect on Peach if you DI though. That was smash was questionable. Why didn't he just go grab ledge? Gra oh no! Why didn't he just go grab ledge one as soon as the Firefox is happening? Like it was only going ledge. Uh, it's it's. Instead he back air. Kind of. You're talking about um, Peach, right? Yeah. Was it's, it a little ambiguous? A little bit, but also it's just kind of hard to grab ledge with Peach. And also, once you're on ledges, Peach, it's really hard to get off. Alright, even. Ish. Yeah. Kev's at 95%. Jeez. That was a good mix. Dead, though. Yeah. You know, even when you get a good mix, sometimes you're not rewarded for it. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't go to Pokemon instead of this stage, though. That was really close to killing him. Yeah. Oh, he's dead again. Unless Fishy messes up the edge guard. See, that was the same shit that I was talking about. Like, why does the Fishy go edge there? Yeah, see, it's just because it, it's really slow for Peach to get to ledge. Is he that scared about giving him a position that he doesn't go for it? Yeah. That forward or kill, jeez. Right. Last yeah. knock. All right, Set point for Kev. Oh, yeah, that up air. He was very, yep. If he had balls of steel, he would have gone for the up air there instead yeah. of the shine. Oh, Bishop kills himself. Yeah. All right, we're, we're dead even. Let's go. Kev versus Fisher, let's see. That down smash is questionable. Oh. oh, up throw, up, oh. up throw again. Yeah, and he shield that, that up tilt. Gets hit by the get up attack. Oh, that up smash. Let's go. So Kev, the pop off. Koopa Kev, baby bird will be. Let's go. The determining set for the DTN <laughs> spot yep. for melee. There will be a determining set. Loser semis of this tournament. Yeah, JPL Apollo coming up next. Neither of these guys. Uh, JPL's won a, won a smashed out recently, like maybe like three weeks ago or yeah, something like that. Yeah, he beat Smokey. Yeah, he's beat Smokey, but maybe maybe he's becoming a Smokey demon. He's beaten Smokey twice now. Yeah, yeah.
Um, I do think that... Well, actually, I know JPO. He's talked to me recently about how uh, he hasn't been all that confident in the Falcon matchup. Uh -huh. But for a long time, he was very good at it. So, And I'd say better than Ke Koopa Kev at it. Here we go. Look at the standings. Yep. Koopa Kev, Baby Bird, Smokey Blunts. Exactly. Tied. Smokey Bee's out, right? Smokey's out. Yeah, Smokey's out. So it's just Smokey lost to Baby Bird. Baby Bird, Koopa Kev, and Semis, right? Loses Semis? Yep. We're here for it. Let's see. Go. Wow, they're so close to each other. <laughs> uh huh. Look at this. <laughs> they're both in the player cam on both sides. How much space is in between them? Let's go, Gary. Let's go, JPL. So much percent. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Did he get it? Not letting up at all. That's it. Yes, it is. Oh, he, oh yeah. See, yeah, that's yeah. a lot. I was like, that's it, but I'm. And I was like, I'm not sure for a second because he comes in close. Oh my god. Died at 67. That's incredible. That feels bad because it's such a dominant stock from Paula. I mean, from, uh, from JPO, JPO. Yeah. He was like, you're on the edge. I'm going to make literally every edge guard count. That jab sounds so funny. <laughs> <laughs> they should... Uh they should make a mod where they just replace it with, uh, like, Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Barry knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, your boy Tweeb is like, yeah, I need more than two minutes to be a demon. But, you know, it's all about how Smokey feels, right? Like, it's a demon yeah. if Smokey feels like it's a demon. <laughs> Mad even right now. Up throw. All right, back in the situation. Oh, uh, goes. Yeah, he's reading the land. Yeah, the, the he thought he was gonna fade back. What's so scary about that is, had Apollo gotten a second knee bear, Joel would have, JPO just would have been dead. Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. When you hit it, it's it's crazy. Yeah. You want that knockback? Here we go. Do you, do you want to just not have to think about <laughs> what your combo is? Here's Stomp. Well, not not even not think. Just think forever, actually. Apollo going high the, th the second time was questionable. Like, he was very, like, already up there, ready to cover the, hi the like, high recovery. Yeah. Yo, shout out in the chat to Big Buffalo. Where the hell you at, my boy Carl? Right. Is Dare Nair real? Like that's what he, I'm pretty sure that's what he just said. Dare Nair or Dare up air? I'm not sure. Nair, uh, dare back air. Dare back air? You, you mean Falcon, right? Yeah, yeah, Falcon. Yeah, it was Stomp back air. Stomp back air, okay. Stomp leads into everything. We love Stomp. Um, it's, it's the equivalent of 
64 hit stun, like um, Smash 64 hit stun, which is insane because hit stun in that game, like once you get hit, you're just comboed. You see, like, yeah, fire shield blows. That was a nice sequence from JPO right there. No. That was a very fast thought. Yeah. I mean, JPO, like... This, he's, all, he's all over Apollo. This really just, like... It, it hasn't felt all that... Like, he's felt very pressured by Apollo here. Like, it's not like the game isn't close, but it just feels like he's not... Not feeling any nerves or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, he's definitely at yeah. ease. Soldier. Head is clear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you say head is clear? Yeah. Is that really the, the terminology you want to go? JPL's head is clear. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Same. Same, bro. <laughs> <laughs> JPO's head is mad clear. <laughs> uh, he's all over it right now. Oh, that was a face from uh, Apollo right there. <laughs> yeah, why is Chess Money washed at this game? Because he, he doesn't play. He quit me melee like. He also went to Ultimate game. and, like, plays not Peach. You know, Peach top. Yeah, two. I know. Incredible. He says he just likes the way um, Palutena plays in the game. Disgusting. He likes. Right. <laughs> he likes the movement. We we'll back in here. Does JPL seal us out 3-0? What does Apollo fire it, back? It certainly looks like it so far. This would be, I think, the most dominant game we've seen. That could have been an accident if, if he just held ledge. Yeah. Oh, that oh, knee. That was... Oh, yo, yo, he was down like 90%. We'll take those. Like, absolutely yeah. we'll take that. Yeah. Let's go. See, what you want there is to get uh, burned by the Firefox instead of not. Yeah, yeah, so you get the reset even yeah. though, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear that. You get the hit. So, like, he doesn't come back, but you get to come yeah, back and you, after, yeah. You get hit up, and he gets hit. I call it the Firefox bounce. Firefox bounce. Yeah, we're even again. It might be a 2 0, but this is a close 2 0. Yes. Yeah, Gary's got those dead eyes. Gary's like, I'm gonna kill this guy. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. That's Nair, right? And Joel just looks like he's very concentrated. Let's go. Stockley. JPO, excuse me. Yeah. It's hard for me. Joel. Sorry. It's much easier to say Joel than JPO. Yeah. JPO stands for Jolie Polioli. Jolie Poli. His first tag was Avatar. Yo, that, I've, that. I've, we've literally known each other since our respective first tournaments. That forward arrow is mad good. It like almost killed with them. Oh, dead. Yeah, dead. Yeah. This is possible, but it's looking pretty strong for JPR right now. Falcon's a heavy boy. Yeah, one up smash and it's uh, all ogre now. No, one up smash won't do it. Falcon's very heavy. Oh my god. That sweet spot forward there was good. That angle was horrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Neil will do, do that to you. Yeah. Yeah, Apollo on the board, 2 1. Let's go, Gary. Let's go, JPO. Let's go, Melee. See, I, I legit, like, I mean. Yeah, I mean, I, I, like I know I know current stock in this game, but I actually think Cal uh, Falcon is a more hype character than Fox. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, it's explosive. Yeah. I mean, 
It's I killed you at 50 versus I walled you out. It depends on the matchup and the player. All right, first stock goes to JPL. He's looking to seal this out clean. I mean, only like, takes 6%. You know, I don't, like, I don't know. I think if Hungrybox were any other player, people wouldn't be hyped for him timing out. Oh, for him getting timed out by not. Wizzy. You know? Absolutely not. So, like, Falcon, I think, can be a hyped character, but I think the way Wizzy plays, which is the optimal way to play Falcon, is not hyped. I can see that. Or at least not inherently. Wizzy hyped. lost the Gatsu, right? Oh. Uh, First year he lost a Gatsu at CEO. He lost to uh, H Boxing Grants, I know that. No. I think it might be on the, the couch in the front chair. Is it. Is your controller white? It's oh. black with a Smash logo. <laughs> oh, there it is. Concuss got it for you. Let's go. Nice. Hey, picture. Hey. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here, oh, yo, that shine was nasty. Shine's such a good butt. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's. I mean, no meme. Like it's, it's very such, insane. Such yeah. a good butt. Invincibility frame one. You can jump cancel it. It's, uh... JPL coming in hot. You know, JPL's like, yo, I've been to a smashed out. I won. I'm coming here to win again. Yeah. Twice in the past, like, month. Yeah. Month's time, I guess. Yeah, JPL's like, I'm month. sick. Don't at me. Don't, don't invite anyone else. <laughs> Yeah. It, the chat was like, yo, yo, that knee was deep. That was super deep. Yo, can he, can he clutch stuff? He could. Oh, no. He's dead. Yeah. No, nah, I was clean, though. But, yeah, that knee was huge. It was. The, the, uh, yo, our, our, our boy was saying that Apollo should up throw more instead of down throw. Up throw up here? Uh, he's, he's going for a lot of down throw knees because he wanted, he wanted like, the edge guard. So even at like zero percent down throw knee, like puts you in a situation where you you can get the edge guard. Yeah, up so up throw uh can lead into stuff, but if the if the spacey, yep. I know. Yo, Koopa kept Baby Bird for all the shillings. Yo, you want to get JPO on commentary? Hell yeah! You want to jump on? Yeah, let's get no, JPO on here. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm a fraud. <laughs> yeah, that's an employee. <laughs> All right, we got JPO What's uh, up, currently guys? in Grand's winner side, coming to talk about this match, which. You know, winner yeah. goes to defend the North. I know. Dude, I am so hyped. Kevin won the last one by the skin of his I, teeth. That was and insane. It literally, I thought it was over. I called it. And Baby Bird almost got reversed 3 0 by Smokey with, like, that was a crazy yeah. set, too. Yeah, it was. Like, a lot has been leading up to this. And then Kevin almost, like, got into winner's finals versus me. Like, he... Barely lost the set versus Apollo. He yeah, could have yeah, yeah, gimped yeah, yeah. him, but he accidentally messed up. Yep. So like, I've been following like the, oh, yeah. this trio so much. This, I've been watching all their matches. Yeah, it's I am been very beyond excited for this. I think I was saying that I think I would say even with c counting Fish it, like from Fish it, you, Baby Bird, Kevin, Smokey, and Apollo. I think you guys are all like pretty much on an equal level right now. And you could all beat each other at any given point. I agree with that. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, 
dude, I don't know. The scene's doing pretty good. It is, yeah, for sure. We have a good level of competition. Okay. Puss beat J Lo today. That was a big win for him. Yeah, very exciting stuff. Okay. So Baby Bird steals the first stock. Um, Kev's got to close out these edge guards. Interesting that they uh, struck a fountain. Uh, I think this is actually uh, like a good stage for Fox. But, okay. Um, so, like, in my opinion, especially versus like a Baby Bird type, the smaller the stage, the better. Yeah, I uh -huh. I, I know Smokey was counterpicking uh, Yoshi against them. Yeah, I mean Yoshi is just like versus any style of Falco. I think is very very good. Uh, you can kind of just run him over. Your edge guards feel pretty solid. Like he's always close to the edge of the stage, yeah. and that's what you want. Right, like a stray hit like that converts into a kill very easily. And that's not going to do the same thing on FD or Dreamland. Oh, great combo definitely here. definitely added pressure to this set, too. You know? they, they're both aware. Mm -hmm. Oh, Baby Bird's like, he was freaking out watching Kevin and Adam's yeah. set. Yeah, because that would have that would have guaranteed him. Yeah. That's why I literally popped off when Kevin won. <laughs> That's I've never seen Kevin pop off before, and he, he did for that set. Oh. So. He's actually been, there's been a lot of character development with Kevin, I feel. Really? He's been popping off a good amount. Nice. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I know um, back in the day when Fudge Face was coaching Captain Smuckers, um, one of his pieces of advice was to sometimes pop off because sometimes you just need, like, to get it out, you know? Yeah, you just, really. You yeah. need to have some kind of release. I mean, we put so much into this game, even if we're not, like, at the, t like, top level, like, nice, okay. Yeah, uh, and, so, and sometimes it, it really is, like, something building inside you, you know? Yeah, you exactly. Just, you need the release. I think, um, one little tidbit is, uh, Kevin's a big fan of, like, Fade Back Dare. Yeah. And I don't think that's very strong in this matchup. And, like, no, I don't know if, if you saw, he, so like, double dared. And the first one, he could have, like, drifted into Falco pretty hard with it, but he chose to, like, go back, which is, uh, it ended up making him lose the exchange he was winning. Yeah. Okay. Interesting pressure. This could be it. No jump. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that's such a common thing after getting hit by that shine. Um, Falcos and Foxes will oh, like. Uh, Soul said good good wreck. Oh, thanks, Soul. <laughs> uh, Foxes and Falcos are like naturally holding out, so they just yeah. do the buffered away if they're not doing a buffered getup attack. That's good. Kevin switch colors? Uh, yeah, he does that. He okay. uh, He's never the same color fo uh, fox. Does he just like do it randomly? Yeah, he's just okay. pressing Y or X during the uh, the okay. match. Or the screen. Jaden does that too. Hmm. Or did that when he played Melee. Rest in peace. He probably still does in whatever game he's playing at the moment. Uh, if he is. I don't even... Because he, play, he played Smash 4. I know he doesn't like Ultimate. Yeah. Um, Great combo. PM, the scene is like kind of dead. So... I mean, it's very dead in New York, so... Yeah. I think, uh, what, Maryland has the best PM scene? Uh, probably right. Cali. Cali? Oh, yeah, that's fair. That's gonna do it. Baby Bird goes high a lot with his recoveries. Mm -hmm. Very, uh, kind of anti-meta for, like, the mid-level spacey player. For sure. Yeah. Um, so it makes... It's a very, uh, mango thing to do, actually. Yeah, it is. That's a good point. Okay, great tomahawk. Oh my goodness. This is old. That Kevin's wrecking. Air. Kevin is wrecking. There, yep. Oh, dude. I, all right, this is what the one thing I'm kind of worried about. Like, I want it to be a good set. I want Baby Bird to bounce back, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he needs a good combo oh, here. Okay, that was bad. He went for Bear? That had oh. to have been a mistake. Yeah. This game too. Also a weird, uh, weird counter pick to go to FD. Yeah. I mean, I understand that, you know, neutral is kind of sometimes hard for Fox there, but his punish game is so sickening against Falco on that stage. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I at this level, it's a little difficult. I feel like. Uh, yeah. 
Foxes are kind of prone to flub, and I think actually like Falco has a pretty solid punish game on it too. So I, mean, I think the I difference is just that Falco's punish game, I think, sort of is very similar on most stages. Mm. Like I don't think it gets all that much better on FD, where I think Foxes does, at least in the matchup. So he goes to Dreamland. I think this is uh, kind of like the ideal baby bird stage, right? A lot of sp space. Um, I think I think he does very well on Pokemon. Um, really? Okay, I could see that. No top platform. Yeah, his... Uh, he did it versus Smokey. What's really annoying about baby bird on Pokemon is he does this laser height under the platforms. It's just very hard to contest. Oh, okay. Like, he does it where... If you try to like hit him, you'll either get hit by a laser or an up tilt, or like you'll just land on the platform, like at the height and distance on the platform. Oh, so like from underneath the platform, yeah. that's where he does it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, okay, Kevin making kind of a a little bit of a reversal. Baby Bird was up pretty much the entire stock until right there, Baby. but couldn't seal it out. Those jabs should do it. Nice, that's the ginger nair. Baby Bird, definitely uh, nervous. You can see it in his player cam reactions. Yeah. He wants this really bad. I think Kubikev is uh, starting to feel some pressure too, though. It's not a f I don't think it's outwardly affecting him as much, but you can see it in his gameplay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I mean, it's also the stage where uh, he has to... This is the first time he hasn't really just been on top of him. Yeah. You know, uh, he was finding his way in very well on FD, actually. Um, but here, he's kind of... Baby Bird's got, like, a good wall. And uh, he's just kind of a bit ready for it now. Oh, great down smash there. Yeah, that was good. Good reaction. Uh, I feel like this is so scary. Uh, in high pressured situations, Falco's tech roll is so difficult sometimes to cover. Like I find myself running into Absolutely. spot dot shine it's, so much. It's one of, if not the longest tech roll in the game. Yeah, it's probably up there for like one of the best. For right? sure. Yeah. I mean, comparatively, as a Sheik main, tech chasing Falco is much harder than tech chasing Fox. Yeah. Like, with Fox, you have some leniency when he tech rolls away or in, like, to react. But with Falco, if you're not reacting, like, right there, then you pretty much... Yeah. Oh, that's, that's it. it. Kevin pops off 3-0. Oh, wow. I don't think... I really didn't see that coming. I didn't either. Uh, I really thought it was going to be a very close set. But I am super happy for Kevin. Let's go. I'm happy for him, too. Baby Bird is not happy. No, I don't think all. so. That's what he gets for breaking Smokey's heart, too. Yeah. Oh, my God. Kevin's so happy. Yeah, look at him. Look at that smile. All right. We're going to go congratulate our boy, I think. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. 
that normal? Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. One of the like the not talked about things in melee. Very hard to like. I mean, Kevin's like ecstatic, right? And then Baby Bird's pretty upset. Like, I feel like it, there's a hard balance, right? Um, I don't know. Every time you win, you take away from someone else. Saw the same thing before with Smokey. Very frustrated. But I mean, that's the game. And that's life. You know, good shit, Kevin. Very happy for that, <laughs> for him. Upsetting to see the set end like that, but you know, it is what it is. Nacho Kev needs to dominate. Oh shit! All right, Koopa Kev putting on the love tag for JoJo. Let's see, this was a uh, pretty, it was a very good set in winners. Uh, very, it was down to the wire, so I'm, um, does Kevin pick up off the momentum? Uh, I feel like Gary's very ride or die, I think, no matter what the outcome, I think he'll be happy. So, I think his mentality is very good in that regard. Um, he doesn't get too discouraged. Kevin down. Chasing Gary to the end of the stage. Alright. Dash attack, up smash. Kind of the bread and butter. I think it's uh, really good to punish Falcon with that because it has good priority. Um, of course, if Falcon doubles uh, six down he can uh, attack and punish you, but it's kind of difficult to do that. Sorry. <laughs> I'm still in awe about the, the set. I'm so happy Kev won. Hard to focus. Let's see. All right, Kev's kind of going over him. Uh, doesn't cover ledge there, but that's fine. Built up a lot of percent. Ooh, I love that. I love just coming back onto the stage with an aerial if your opponent's not respecting it. Um, all right, pretty easy edge guard there. And Kev's got the reactions. Nice. All right, a lot of percent on uh, Apollo. Got Gary's tag. Oh, it, he just sneaks under him with that. The nair goes too high. And Koopa Kev's ready with an up smash to end game one. Pretty exciting. Timmy, what did you just say? Oh, okay. All right. I'm joined by Concussed. Uh, he's gonna hop on soon, but in the meantime, it's still just me. Um, let's see, I didn't get to see that edge guard sequence, so I don't know exactly what went wrong. Oh, all right, so Drill Shine up smash will seal it. Kevin's playing with fire right now, or playing on fire, I guess. It's not too risky. Definitely not playing with fire. He's just getting so many clean conversions. I didn't think that would connect. I, I, Gary could be dead. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of an annoying edge guard, right? You have to rinse and repeat. Um, I'm not quite sure. I feel like I was in the same position a lot, too. You're not sure what adaption to make to just end it quicker, but... Gary gets goes off stage. I like he kept missing that versus me in my set, and it cost him a lot. Uh, but I like that he stayed true to it, you know. Like and you know, he just landed it eventually later on in the set. He didn't really whiff it as much. Cause it is really punishing to miss that like run off stage knee. Okay, love these falling up airs to uh, extend his combo. 
He's got to work out, like, covering the ledge a little bit. I think right there, honestly, he just has to give it to him. I think running directly up to stage is super dangerous at that spot. Okay, he tries to dash attack the ledge, but that's not going to work. Okay. Apollo's going on stage. He mi Koopa Kev misses, misses the dash, gets need for it. Ooh. Oh, hell. Incoming Timmy. He's here. Oh, Koopa Kev is playing very good. He's riding off the momentum from winning the hotel for Defend the North. I know. I'm so happy for him. Can you believe Kevin didn't want to come? Kevin didn't want to come. Yeah, I, 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 I worked so hard to get him to come. And he I, also didn't want to come last week or the week before. Yeah, dude, I don't know what's up with him. What a goon. No, but the less he wants to play, the better he does. Yeah, you're not wrong. Literally, he beat me last week, and then this week he's just like, dude, I don't think I can beat Smokey or Baby Bird. It's just like, just oh, like hey, what are you talking up, about? <laughs> yeah, shut up, Kevin. You're good. God damn it. Just accept it already. Be <laughs> proud of yourself. Yeah, and now he's up 2-0. Oh. He's looking pretty solid. Yeah. I haven't been watching the set really. Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing well? What's Gary doing wrong? Uh, so, you know, I don't really know enough about Falcon to say what Gary's doing wrong, but Kevin's onstage combos are netting him so much percent right now. He's very clean with it. He's not dropping a lot. Uh, and he's getting enough edge guards for him to win. Um, he's not like getting every single one, but he's getting most of them, and that's what you really need. Yeah, that's something I was talking to Kevin about. Like, I noticed his playstyle from like just a few months ago. Almost no gimps. He would kill. He would like wait till everyone was at death percent. He got so much better at gimping recently. Uh, well, he's not really gimping him. Falcon kind of just gets gimped, like, uh, like like soft back air is just like a kill move right there, right? Oh, that's what you mean. I thought you meant like just random shine spikes. Oh no, I mean like I, I'm not super good at knowing when to shine spike Falcon, but I think like he's a so Falcon if he has his double jump is able to protect himself so well because he can double jump aerial and still grab the ledge a lot of times or like double jump aerial at the ledge uh, and then it's like Falcon can actually beat out your shine if he only has his up B or if he has his double jump it's when he only has his up B that can you like really shine him and most of the time in these situations he's above the ledge and like shine like isn't actually good in those spots too much like if Falcon's that high up shining him doesn't do a lot right like you wouldn't want to shine that yeah Seems like Kevin's doing a good job at getting out of his follow-ups, as I say that. <laughs> well, I mean, he got out there. Um, yeah. Nice, that's good. Um, one thing, I think Gary's follow-ups are a little inconsistent because he goes for a lot of reads. Um, and I think he kind of he doesn't want to go into the corner very often, which is very understandable for Falcon. Like, it's not strong in the corner. But if you get a go for reads on your tech chases and stuff, you also have to threaten the corner. And I don't think he's quite ready to do that mentally, you know? Yeah. How was Gary doing in your guys' set? Uh, so the start of it, uh, I was kind of beating him up. And then towards the end of the set, he did start playing really well, actually. He just kind of came back. It's kind of actually like, I'm not gonna lie, my set to his uh, to Kevin's set right now looks very similar. Uh, Gary beat me pretty well on this stage, I think. Or not well, but like, he had a healthy lead when he won. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. yeah well, game four, where do you think this is going as a uh, Fox main yourself? Uh, well, the classic pick is probably like Yoshi's or FD or Fountain, right? Those are like the three that are like very good and up to between those it's all kind of preference I care more about like zones and stuff so I go FD but Kevin told me like when Kevin after he lost game 5 to Apollo he turned to me and he goes like play aggressive you know get in his face and that's what Kevin likes to do in this matchup um, so I think the fountain or Yoshi's pick makes a lot of sense for him yeah and he was playing with Jojo this morning that probably helped warm him up for this yeah that's true I feel like Ledge is so strong against Falcon. Like right there, I think he had <coughs> uh, the opportunity to sweet spot Ledge and then just elected not to. 
And now he's kind of... Like, same thing right there. He could have shine stalled until grabbing a ledge, and Falcon can't really punish that too well, but he keeps choosing to do up B or side B instead. And that's something, like, Falcon actually can, re like, react to and punish. Hmm. Nice side B. Works out. Oh, okay, we got some flailing. All right, Apollo covering in with his uh, attack chasing again. Oh, throws out a knee, catches Kevin coming down from the platform. Oh, I was. A oh yeah, you're right. I was winning game three. Oh well, <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay. Oh, a little too antsy on that punish. Yeah, now he's getting hit kind of hard for it. I think he probably meant to up air instead of nair. I would imagine. There we go. Nice going to ledge. Gary's done a good job of adjusting from going for hard reads into like using jab to cover. It's yeah. A safer yeah. option. Kevin's been punishing him for misreads. Pretty hard. Okay, interesting. He goes for a read there. Pays off pretty hard. All right, so he's not going to seal it. Uh, Kevin needs to... Oh, wow, he just reads him so hard. Right, like he just jumped up there and hit him. That was good. Okay, he's all over him. Oh, oh that, this is a skirmish. Oh, Oh, no, 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 no. All right, good good job holding away. Great oh, shorten. That's the shorten, like, that's brilliant. He's 100% dead if he doesn't. And now oh, he could shit. win. He just went for the shine. Uh, I don't know if he could have hit it. That was kind of an awkward spot. Oh, catches the jump. Oh, but runs into up B. Nice. Does the high aerial and dashes back so far. And he takes oh. it. All nice. Joel. Me and Kevin, Kevin, grand finals. I'm excited. Okay, Joel. Wish you good luck. Goodbye, everybody. Playing Melee in 2019, kind of cringe, man. Not going to lie, but we out here. <laughs> JPO, Koopa Kev, is this Loser's Semis? Or Loser's Finals? Oh, this is Grant's. Oh, he made it. That was Loser's Finals. All right. Uh, Koopa Kev, Loser's side, JPO winners. Let's get hype. I uh, may have to dip out for a moment once my Project M file uh, finishes downloading so I can install the unofficial, totally not supported, better version of Melee. But we got the Fox Ditto coming into it. JPO, super clean Fox. Koopa Kev, consistent local performer. This will be an even Ditto, I like it. I'm hyped to watch it. But just like that, JPO, smiling. Look, he's up. Koopa Kev, the fire. You see the melee in his eyes, literally. Let me make a fire profile picture. Someone hit my boy up. Already, though, on the ropes for the next stock. Getting comboed. Looking like Falco out here. Dying in left and right. Literally. Getting back here, down two stocks to one. There's not too much to say here. Uh, Koopa Kev keeps going in, and he's just getting punished for his approach. He's not approaching too safely. 
Gets grabbed, gets up tilted. Just got drill shine there. It's just getting raw outspaced by safe options. Misses the shine for an equalizer, but he's up 93%. He will die in a moment to an up smash. Strong back air to an edge guard. Dangerous spot. He's gonna have to really outwork to even even this thing up. JPO is solid neutral though, just keeps going back, takes a stock. Almost three fresh stocks to one. It's brutal. These uh these planned edge guards not edge guards, sorry, edge cancels on the platforms to grab ledge, just simple stuff like that is giving him such a big edge. Edged out 80% off just knowing where he's gonna land after his aerial. Doesn't get a read off of the getup normal. Dies for it. Three stock game one. JPO dominating. We're gonna get a game two on Yoshi's. Rocking the love tag. I respect it. Going from green to white fox, also a respectable choice. There's no need to blend in with the environment of Yoshi's. Not many people know that you get a, uh, a stat bonus and tech skill for having the white skill. Uh, the combo tree. Your combo tree is enhanced by 10% by for having the white skin on. But your tech skill is increased by at least 30 by having the blue. And it's, it's coming out here. JPO just execution testing left and right. Up smash, up smash. Missing a ledge thus though, he execution tested himself. It was the power of 69 from Koopa Kev throwing him off there. Just like that. Running back into it. Koopa Kev with the anime protagonist glasses right now. Unveiling some deep plot device, only to lose his stock. Takes a look at his opponent, JPL Smirk, and he's in the zone. Look at this. This man has, oh, he's got he's got Fox in his eyes. Kev has melee in his eyes. JPL has Fox in his eyes. It's crazy. Not gonna do the stock though. Too low percent for that up air. Decent DI. One more grab up there will finish that stock, and he's looking for it. I don't think he can land a Rob smash. He doesn't quite have the reads. That wasn't Rob. He got the dash attack. Good percent for it. JPO. Not sweating too much. He looks like he's really enjoying it regardless. Man just likes melee. Not much to say. Clean conversion to APO. He doesn't believe it. Not many you saw coming, I don't know. But we got it anyway. Koopa Kev up a stock. First time. Let's go. After a three stock too. And good DI to live that out. Comes down with the drill. Gets a 40% off of it. Uh, impressive. Good. Good cleanup. A little bit more. He's already passed. Good slide off with the shield. Oh, good read on the up air. He saw an aerial coming out and he went to ledge. A lot of foxes just throw out the aerial and they, the other fox thinks they're going to outplay him by not going to ledge. And then they just get hard backered. Go to ledge there. So, 57% lead on last stock on Yoshi's. On his counter pick, so it's working out. Doesn't get to ledge. I don't know. I think that was a mistake there. Doesn't go to ledge again. This is the third time. Three, JPO's laughing. He realized it was his mistake. Gets to ledge and rolls up. Misses the edge guard. Two up throws, no conversion, go to ledge, doesn't cover ledge, gets the backer. Solid. Is this chest money? The haircut. I'm taking it. Fresh. Koopa Kev with the equalizer. And here we go, FD. I know JPO does have a little bit of tech skill in his pocket can pull out these chain grabs, and that's enough to make FD a worthwhile counter pick. But, Kev turns the tables, gets a bad read, but showed that he can get the chain grab when he needs to. And, ooh, missing it with the backer. He gave him a little too much credit there on his spacing. He's gonna take the stock anyway. Almost a flood by JPO. 
Up a stop. Double spot dodge, the special. Ata Ata. A fan classic. Ledge? No, he's gonna cover with a back air. No up smash follow up. I don't think he believed in it. Soft back air. Misses the please out. Close out of that stock, but gets the ledge read anyway. Back to even. three stocks, please. Um, good adaptation from Kev, playing around the simple <laughs> execute. Oh, we got the mid short. JP with the like, expression on his face. I feel the same way. No one hits that. Props to anyone who can hit that. But as I was saying, Koopa Kev playing a little bit slower, a little more methodical. Uh. He Definitely a worthwhile change up in his game plan because he was just going in mindlessly and getting bodied by GPO. He got three stock the first game for it. Two shortens to ledge in a row. Eight loses. GPO with the reversal. Got lost the stock for it. That's good. We got Apollo. Might come join me. I don't know. He's looking at it. I know he's just had a bracket at a. Fresh third place, I believe. Oh, and JPO with the equalizer. So missed that there. I believe that was another back air ledge. With the down throw, unconventional. I respect it. See, it got him another. <laughs> it netted him another 20%, which is decent. Oh, shine invincibility. Clanking like up smash. That hurts. Dash attack, up smash, the classic DI mix up, FD, nowhere to go, no platform in your way. Koopa Kev up a stock, second game in a row. Like I said, man, these adaptations from Koopa Kev coming in clutch. JBO doesn't seem to have an answer to it just yet. That might be a stage thing, but I don't know. This was his pick. Doesn't seem to be chain grabbing as much as you think from someone who uh, counter picks FD. See if he can get this edge guard here, close it out. Doesn't get a follow up with a knockdown. Oh, spacing out. He's just throwing out safe aerials. Here he is, dancing around neutral. He said, Come to me. I'm not coming to you. I'm up a stock. Get at me. This is an opportunity for a back air there. Goes to the ledge. Fair enough. Looking for a grab here or a raw up smash. Might even get another fabled dash attack up smash. Oh, this is the read. There it is. Fish for him on FD. JPS hand. Nah, no contest. Uh, uh, and Koopa Kev. Game three. Solid. Going back to FD. You know something we don't right now. I'm not sure. Uh, and it wasn't just like a last stock situation. Like, could have clutched it out. It looked like Koopa Kev really had JPO's game plan figured out. A solid two stock. Had enough to fish for a dash attack up smash there in the last stock. That's not just a uh, random, random play right there. That's someone being in another man's head. As I say it though, he gets the the shine edge guard, uh, forces him into a bad position. Unorthodox angle onto stage with the Firefox. He ends up netting another. 16% off of it, so it's better than having gone straight to ledge. You would have lost the stock right away, but it's already down again. He went for a read there with that up smash, missed it, ended his chain grab early. Another down throw. See, at this point, you've already done it once. It's not too worthwhile to go for it again. Somehow, he didn't really get counter attacked off of it. GPO with the good reversal, though. Up a stock. All right. JPO seems to have learned something as well from his last game with Koopa Kev. He said, I see Kevin's adaptations. Uh, I know he's slowing down his game plan. Uh, and he's matching him still with speed, but definitely going back to the chain grab. It's like a set strategy. He realizes this is why I'm going to this stage. I need to get guaranteed combos. And he's going for him, and he's hitting him. Uh, only going for 50 50s that ledge, not hard covering anything. And here he is. Brought it back, even stocks. If he can get back to ledge here, it looks like he could take another one, but Koopa Kev closing that one out. 40 is a chance. 
Tries to go for the cheeky forward tilt cover. Ends up with the dash to heck up smash. One stock apiece. Game four. Now, if Cooper Kev wins this, he has another set to go through, so it's not the end of the world for JPO, but for JPO winning this is a sigh of relief. He can at least take it to game five and be that much closer to closing it out one set, not having to worry about taking another three from Cooper Kev. And these chain grabs are showing that he's ready to do so. Charging it, confident, clean up smash. Got ourselves a game five. The enthusiasm from JPO is it's just amazing. Uh, he's always smiling about it. It's impressive to watch. Koopa Kev thinking about the game. Rightfully, he's, he's made some adaptations, made some setbacks. He's, he's thinking about him. Seems to have a new game plan down. Picks Dreamland. Now, this does seem to fit in with his game plan. He wants to uh, force JPO to approach him. And he has a lot more room to work around with here. Uh, the first FD stage worked out for him because he stuffed out the approaches a little bit more. But the second one, he just got just got neutral. He got chain grabs, and here he has a lot more to playground jungle space to work with. Up a stock, another color change. I like that he adapts to the stage. I'm a fan of it. I do it myself. Good short. Gets back to ledge. Nets another 20% already. The numbers are only going up. Kev's got uh, JPO on the ropes for his last stock here. He can squeeze it out. Yeah. Cleaned it out with another dash and tag up smash. I don't, I don't mean anything bad when I say it. It's a solid read. It's stomp knee, up throw rest, you know. It's all DI percent dependent. Uh, still, good to see someone who has a set game plan on how to finish out a stock. Misses the shine. This is the ledge dash. It's looking like Koopa Kev is set to reset this bracket. You can get another few games out of this. But, still doable. It's a Fox Dead you know anything happens. Forward smash, good read. Let's go, ledge. Needs to shorten for it. Man. Solid, solid. There's one stock. Takes only 10%. You can do that again. It's not bad at all. smash a ledge. He's getting inside. He's getting inside. Oh, no re-grab there. But, no, he like, goes on ledge again. He sees it in his air. Oh, in his eyes, man. He keeps going for that up air, too, on ledge. I don't think he... He doesn't uh, shrug at that one. He shrugs at the rest of his mistakes, which is weird. It's, that's one of the more noticeable ones. But, as I say, Koopa Kev back here to the ledge. Gets game five. And it's a bracket reset. Um, yeah, Koopa Kev, definitely, he's playing the platforms more than JPO's willing to. JPO just wants an aerial approach. He wants to run up on ground, he wants to get an up smash, he wants to get a random throw. Um, for the most part, it, it, it works out, but Kev, Kev seems to understand that that's exactly what he's going for, and he's adapting to it, and he's taking games for it. Battlefield, a more ambiguous stage. He can use his aerials to approach. It doesn't matter. It's not like a larger stage or a higher platform where you can get stuffed out by having to use a double jump to get up there. But Oh, playing dangerous. He turned his back to the ledge. He's laughing. He, he knows that was a dumb move, but he's not sweating. He's still not sweating. I haven't seen the man sweat once. Fourth throw ledge, could be anything. 
doesn't shine. The first time doesn't go for a shine when it's one of the most guaranteed. I think shine would have covered straight up there too, but he hit the crazy angle. Here we are, side B, shine turn around, back air, another back air, another back air, that's the stock. Cooper Kev, not much of a lead here. This is a Rob smash percent. It's a solid back air percent. A scary place to be in, but he's netting up the percent regardless. I've seen neither of these guys go for jab resets though, on uh, a little bit of time to react to. It looks like they're just in it. They're both getting in each other's heads, it looks like. Uh, that's gonna be another stock. Koopa Kev now on three stocks to one. On this first game, the next set, JPO cleaning that stock up, but still a lead for Koopa Kev. We saw JPO bring this back on Dreamland to the last stock, but it's all about how much percent Koopa Kev can get in this stock if he, before he loses it, if at all. Oh, doesn't cover the ledge. Both these gov these players are, are doing a very decent job of uh, picking the recovery option that is not being covered. Back to back to back. No short in there. And he holds ledge. <laughs> An odd play. Reverse up smash with down smash. Again, Koopa Kev not grabbing ledge. Throwing out aerials. It's the safer option, no doubt. He has a chance to take neutral again. Goes for the quick shine, takes the first game. Kev? Kev's got momentum coming back into this. It's two games in a row now. This is only two games in a row. Actually, he took the first two games of the last set as well. On his own counter as well. As I say it, they're just exchanging blows at the beginning. Kevin, no jump. GPO cleaning it out. They're uh, they're losing stocks, or they're taking stocks while at around 78% each every time. It's it's like scripted almost, honestly. Except for those equalizers, they can go anywhere from 0% to 80% as well. These first stocks are always, always cleaned up for 100. Shines, grab ledge. Gets drilled, unexpected, too low for percent, honestly. You didn't see that coming. Which is honestly good adaptation from JP. I saw that opportunity, took it, got a stock at low percent for it. He's still cheesing them out with these up smashes, though. Creative combo, soft bear into a read. Keeps going for the uppers. They haven't hit once the entire set. This is the game seven. He hasn't hit one of those uppers. Still going for them though. Two stocks apiece, but Koopa Kev, one hit away from losing it. Again, doesn't hold ledge. Cleans out the stock here. 8 15%. Good shield the eye inwards on the drill. A lot of people, uh, they get crossed up by that, end up behind them, and they get shined at shield pokes, but he shield the eye in. Got the grab off of it, too. Decent percent. It's good, good awareness, good option coverage. <laughs> double shine, double jump. Air dodges can't grab ledge. JPL, coming right back. Game two. 1-1. One, one. Koopa Kev might not show it, but he he's definitely enjoying this. I've spoken to him after a few sets, uh, and I know that both of these guys really do enjoy this game. So there's nothing either of them like more than just like good Fox Ditto. They're trading games back and forth. They went two and two the first set. Kev just edged it out the last. Now they're one to one in the second set. It's gotta be it's gotta be fun. There's no more you can ask for than a reset and like back to back fun games. Just playing Fox against Fox. A lot of people think this is like prime melee. Some floaties out there strongly disagree.
but for Fox and Falco, they both just want to play Falco. Fox and Falco. It's incredible. A little bit of dash dance, a little bit of neutral from these guys. And then you don't have to interact. They got seven more minutes. First stock does go to Kev though. Oh, he no. <laughs> he's laughing at that way. He just walks off air dodge. Definitely meant to wave dash back, but happens, happens. Back to two stocks apiece. Okay, double up tilt gets the gets the follow up after this. Get up. Good angle into bad ledge dash. I think that's a mid tier true combo. Gets that up air. He's gone eight games looking for that up air on the side of the stage, and he finally hits it off ledge. It's paid off in the end. He's never been punished for it, but he finally lends it. So he is net positive and gets shined. One stock beach beast any man's game on Yoshi's story. Fox did up. One good opener is all it takes to finish this game from either room. 69% blessing though. Turns around on him. Straight angle? No, gets slight upwards. Holds ledge, that's clean. Gets the back air anyway. Koopa Cat. Two games to one. One game away from taking grands from loser's side. Impressive. The man has grinded. TPO taking him back. No more FDs. No more FDs. Battlefield Yoshis. I want scraps. These men are exchanging backers. They're exchanging up tilts. Mostly backers. A good down tilt. But we're seeing bear after bear. These men are camping in the woods. These men are scouting with binoculars and hunting rifles. They're saying, I see a bear. I'm going to take it. I see a bear. I'm going to take that shot. I see another bear. Here it is. Up throw. Up tilt. Up smash. Crazy. Crazy. Good stuff. Just holds ledge. Gets a bad short. That's fine. Zero. Zero on the board. 29. Good. That back air, I think, covered the entire platform. Front and back. And another bad short from Rupakev. I think he was in between the short and mid spacing, so a mid shorten would have brought him on stage for an easy up smash punish. That's what JPL likes to go for. And the shorten killed him. But here we are. Holds ledge again. Three stocks to one. JPO, Koopa Kev. Koopa Kev needs to just take a second. Think a little bit. Think about his recovery. Think about where he is. Change up his height. Sabi's the ledge. Loses two stocks for it. Could have kept the game going with the back to back equalizers that they both did. Shine and air. This is not. Oh! He gives up ledge again. The JPO special in this ditto so far, but doesn't quite lose a stop for it. Not quite enough percent to take that. Doesn't get back here landing on the platform. Gets the grab, gets up here. We have set to game five. Bracket reset. JPO could kill. Hype City. Hype City. Game five, second set. This is game 10, and we are back to FD. This time in the hands of Koopa Kev. And he said, you know what? I'm gonna be the one chain grabbing. Not GPO, I pick the stage. This is my, my area, you know? I'm just gonna get a dash attack up smash. I'm gonna back air, you're right here. Now he misses the back air because he went for a grab. He's gonna do it again though. Dash attack up smash. JPL saying, I should attack that. And we know you should attack that, but it's alright, it happens. 
The bad part is, though, he's only at 30%. He can get chain grabbed here. JPO gets the opening grab, but instead, he has got him grabbed. Let's go. We got your boy, Govinda, co-owner of Encore Esports. That's my boy, here on at the mic. Nathan Gilwood. Let's this go. is game 10 Yo. of Grand Finals. No, 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 it's game 9. Game 9. Game 9. Owner. Yo, Koopa Cab versus JPL. <laughs> Yo, Koopa Cab wants it so fucking bad. There we go. He finally cleans the stock out 139%, but he's in yeah, dire straits. He's, he's in dire straits. Yo, he's about he to get air smash. He's about to get air smash. He's going to get smash. dash attack up smash. It happens every time. It's, Shine happened, up smash. it's happened every time. Dash attack up smash. Yep. A full stock lead for Koopa Cab, and he gets the first grab. Yo, That's guaranteed 45 to 80%. Insane. He's He's already at 76. And that's another stock. That's a back right air, right? No, he, he can hold it if he wants. He has to back air here, though. Yeah. yeah that's a stock. Nah, it's just like. Three stocks to one. Game 10. Koopa Kev brought this back from the depths. This man has done a lot of work in the Fox Ditto. He's chain grabbing. JPO is chain Koopa grabbing. Koopa Kev's now. about to go to DTN, facing off against Hacks Money. Hacks Money. Hacks Money. Oh, boy. And, uh. Uh, two Saint now. Two Saint. Two Saint. Two Saint won the After monthly. winning the monthly, yeah, two dude. Two Saint's about to go. Yo. Yeah, you know crazy. That'd be if Koopa Kev took. I want Koopa Kev to take money, names, bro. Dude. <laughs> Koopa Kev took to it to hacks money. He has to clean out this set first, though. Honestly, yeah. JPL is one stock. He's brought this back in previous games. He hasn't closed out the the game, but he has brought it back three stocks to one. Yeah. In a convincing fashion. Oh, that's awful. There we go. That'll do yeah. it. There's one. One off the board. JPL. All he needs is that opening grab. Oh, Kev gets it first and charges the up smash. For that game goes. 10. Koopa Kev Koopa wins Kev it. Koopa Kev taking grand finals. Let's go. Yo, we'll see your boy two, three, two Koopa sets. Kev after grand finals reset. This man has worked for it. Free venue. Yo. Do you want to talk to him? No, nah, no. Nah, I interviewed you, Toussaint. You, you got it. 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 Yo, get on the mic. Get on the mic. Turn around, Barry. I'm going to put Koopa Kev on. My guy, game ten, bro. Game ten. How you feel? Exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you guys were scrapping. <laughs> no, yeah, me and Joel are fucking. Oh, are really, yeah. really good at the ditto. We're really both pretty proficient. Dude, I was saying he was smiling the whole time, but you had like the melee reflected in your glasses. You were yeah. in the zone. Where, like, I know you guys are enjoying it. Like, no, yeah, we're, we're, we're both close friends, man. We, oh we know how we God. play and stuff, and like they was, looked like it. Yeah, you we, guys we were, were going back and forth trading some. I don't know, it just looks like stuff you'd only go for if you play each other all the time. Yeah. Oh my um, god. I was honestly really scared of playing Smokey. But oh, when he got yeah. upset by Baby Bird, I was like, holy shit, I have Baby a Bird's good. No, Baby Bird's nasty, man. I I don't know what happened when he went our set. I think he might have just like lost some momentum or steam or something because like it, it was it was so much harder last week to play against. Yeah. He like yeah, bodied dude. me last week actually. Everybody <laughs> last week was going off. Yeah. Um what was it? You were up two games to Nothing, honestly, in the first set. Did you think you were just gonna clean it out? Um, right there against uh, Joel. Yeah. Um, you took after a while uh, after battlefield and then FD like back I was, to back. I was on his counter pick. I was, I was pretty like, confident I was gonna oh, take that damn. set. I wasn't sure <laughs> I was gonna take the second one, but once I right. saw that he kind of went like this, yeah, I was he, like, okay, he might start, uh, to, start to lose some steam. The frustration pop up. Yeah, yeah. my left started losing some steam. But he, he he bodied me game four, and I was like, okay, game five, FD. <laughs> he was just I, like, I noticed now, we're on, now we're on Kev's counter pick. Yeah. He brought it back to FD. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you you started chain grabbing him. I was popping off. He the didn't chain get grabs on you. You just you grabbed him first every time. Yeah, I think I was a little quicker in the micro it. than him uh, in particular. Um, but he, like his punish game is still really really solid. Yeah. It's just that he was um, being I was just being a, a tad more patient than he was, and that's all you needed. Exactly. FD. I uh, yeah. commented on that. He was also fishing for some up air off ledge. Uh, yeah. Over and over. He hit you once in the yeah. entire set, and it was on game eight. <laughs> he hit you with that up there. Dude. Oh, so uh, what was my run? That was pretty funny. I went. Who did I play first? Let me see the bracket. Uh, oh, I like, right don't here. remember because I was just like playing. Okay, so I played Emil. 
Shout out to Emil, man. <laughs> Shout out Emil's Emil. been in the I game for a while. Yeah, I miss Emil, man. He's like ultimate now. And I played Scrub. That Two was one Scrub. That's good. That was a terrifying set. Oh That's hard. Man. That was like one of the scarier sets. And you got okay. I was wondering who put you in losers. It was Apollo, but then you ended up taking back out. Yeah, I ended, I ended up running, running it back in finals. losers finals. Yeah, Apollo. It was a really tight setting winners too. It came down to like a missed gimp that Dude, I Apollo had. Apollo sick. <laughs> yeah, and then he just like took it and need me, and I was like, shit, I'm done. <laughs> But uh, then I had to play. Fish it was also really scary. That came Dude, down to a, a drill shine up smash. Fish it got one of the top hundred upsets the other day. He did. The, he just casually monthly. did that, right? He just casually beats Two Saint with Donkey Kong. <laughs> like he's, he's, he's a goat, man. Like <laughs> oh, it was crazy. Shot to Fish. Yeah, <laughs> clean, the cleanest two. It was a clean two o two. Two Saint was like, oh my god, dude. He, yeah. There he, he pulled out stuff I'd never seen before. He just body. He dismantled. Yeah, he's so, so scary like, to right. play against. Today Dang. I was I was playing pretty well against his DK, but the last time we played, it was it was rough. He like flexed me. He like flexed me. <laughs> dude, he gets he, that grab and you're just you're like, yeah. What do I, what he do he I wasn't do? getting grabs on me today. Oh, you that, that's just good space. <laughs> okay, my, I think I gotta end this because my my car ride wants to get out of here. <laughs> Puff mains, man. I don't know. Puff mains, dude. Timmy. <laughs> Always in a rush to go somewhere. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, good man. set. Congrats Thanks, on man. the on the spot. Thank you so much. See you at defend the north. Yeah.